hello. Uh, hey, I saw people in the chat saying they like this song. Um, that was called Used to This. And the artist is just called Maybe, M-A-Y-B-E. Literally 30 seconds ago, I spilled um, nail glue on myself <laughs> and on my chair. <laughs> so I'm like in the middle of getting all this going and then just like frantically cleaning up fucking nail glue. My goodness. Smurge, thank you for being a member th for three months. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. So this live... Um, or this episode of that oil show is season three episode two oil infused life is the title yeah <laughs> katie thank you for being a, mem a member for 12 months I, I feel like at this point every time i start streaming i need a good like five minutes to get my words to work correctly so thank you for your um uh patience with my mouth <laughs> Uh, and I don't have any MLM songs to share with you today, so don't worry. Um, I am out of top chat purgatory, but if the rest of you guys are in top chat purgatory, please make sure when you go to the chat, you'll see a little um, bar at the top that probably says, it'll say either top chat or live chat. Make sure you switch it to live chat, otherwise YouTube's just sending you like whatever it thinks you want to see. Um, but hey, I'm glad you guys are all here. Wait, what? What are you eating, demigod? Oh my god, I missed your first one. I am not in top chat purgatory, but I don't know what you're eating. Something fried. Wait, fried in coconut oils. Can you fry stuff in coconut oil? I thought it didn't have, like, the right boiling point for that. Anyway. <laughs> Hello. It's cold in Scotland. I'm jealous. It's hot here. Um... Just like last week when I told you guys it's hot here. Our temperatures have been like, like, welcome to the desert. It's like super, super hot. Well, I say super, super hot. It's like almost 80, I think, today. I didn't really check, but it's hot enough. Um, and then this weekend, it's supposed to be like in the 50s. Don't know. It's been doing that for like three weeks now, and my hips don't like it. <laughs> when the weather changes, my hips hurt. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> And also a mother. All right. Uh, it's snowy. Oh, God, that sounds so nice. I'm so jealous. So jealous, dude. Damn. All right. Well, hey, since we're all here, I think it's time that we um, get oily. <laughs> you know, if you're going to be able to <laughs> survive the science portion or not, you have to take a rage break. It's always a tough one. Yeah, it's always a, a tough watch with these ones for sure. But, all right, guys, um, you don't need to be more oily than you already are. You know, sometimes they say that, like, if you have oily skin and you, you have, like, acne-prone skin, uh, to use, like, oil-based moisturizers and stuff because somehow, I guess, it works that way. I don't know. <laughs> it's oil time, bitches. <laughs> fried items like deep-fried banana chips? All right, all right, I see you, I see you. All right, yeah, prepare yourself because it's time for the best theme song ever. Let's go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to That Oil Show. Hi, ladies. And um, I hope that you're enjoying your Young Living Oil journey so mm -hmm. far. Is that So what today we're, we're going to be talking about... Are we all on a Young Living Oil journey? Is that what we're doing right now? <laughs> uh, fuck. Are you guys all enjoying your Young Living Oil journey? Because I sure am. I'm enjoying not being on a Young Living journey. I'm on an anti-MLM journey, and I think we all are. We're all here on an anti-Young Living journey. And I don't want to speak for everybody, but I do think that we're all enjoying ourselves here. I think we all have more fun watching that oil show than the people that this is actually made for, you know? about our oil infused life and where we go <laughs> from getting our first oils and learning how to use them where do we go from there 
Before I continue in that though, I last uh, last episode, I actually forgot to mention this, um, the difference in our labels. Oh. And so, you know, we're gonna be sharing. Oh my God, MLM, no, you make me wanna set up my fog machine. I literally have it right here. Should I do it? I mean, listen, it's always a safe bet when we're watching that oil show that if you're gonna guess whether it's a fog machine or a oil diffuser, 100% of the time, it's going to be an oil diffuser. But uh, here in my house, I guess it's a 50-50 shot. I'll set up, I'll set up the fog machine, but it has to like, well, I just have to plug it in, but it has to sit and wait a little bit too. Also, I don't know where my remote is for my fog machine. Oh my gosh, I am not prepared. Okay. Sharing things about the oils that you might need to know, um, things that you can put on your wish list for your future or orders. Um, but to get started, I just wanted to let you know, you may see different colors of labels. So here's peppermint. Two different peppermint bottles. One is peppermint vitality and I'm one is on peppermint. And it's the same oil in both bottles. So a lot of people ask me, Sarah, why is there a vitality? Why is there Oh boy, here we go with labels? the labels. Well, the governing uh, US governing Body bodies. bodies, all the different governing bodies have different rules for supplement companies, for um, cosmetic companies, for Please don't say it's for FDA approval. Please don't say this is for FDA approval. It's for FDA compliance anyway. Or, you know, who Young Living is as a supplement company and they have products for personal care usage, so that falls under cosmetics. And so um, they have said um, that they would like Young Living to label the bottles. Um, the supplements can only be labeled for internal usage and cosmetics. Okay. Um, can only okay. be labeled for topical or aromatic usage and of course it seems like she's being like fairly honest with this which is kind of surprising to me i would have expected these people to go with the whole like oh it's because these oils are fda approved and it's not if you didn't know with young living um she was like showing the bottles here i don't know i'm sure you saw them um but with young living they have just for people who don't know they have multiple lines of oils and stuff, but generally they have like regular oils and then they have their Vitality line and they're labeled differently. The Vitality line is labeled for consumption in food products and stuff like that. Um, so what you hear a lot with um, Young Living distributors is these people will always be like, oh yeah, we're FDA approved. Oh my gosh, I got some tea on my shirt, sorry. I have a drinking problem. <laughs> I don't know how to drink anything. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, so so they don't understand the difference between FDA approval and FDA compliance. So basically the FDA told Young Living, like, y you can't tell people that you can use this for aromatherapy and for medication and for food all on the same label. Like, you can't do that. So they had to create the Vitality line so that they were able to say, oh, you can eat these oils, but they are in fact the same oil that they, this is what they say anyway. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Anything that Young Living says is just kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the story behind it. So anytime you ever hear Young Living re uh, reps say that they are FDA approved, this is what they're talking about. They are not FDA approved. No supplement is, I don't think. I don't remember if that's how it works or not, but I think they're governed by separate bodies. But um, yeah, they're not. They had to create the Vitality line to become compliant with the FDA or they would um, suffer some consequences. So that's that. Of course, our oils are much more than cosmetics or just perfume. I'm or still fragrance. looking for but the for all remote and purposes, for my fog this machine. This is what the governing authorities um, you know, had told Young Living to do. And sometimes the rules change, sometimes, you know, so, so we may see over time some different labels. I know we've had a couple of newer blends that have come out in the past year that had all three uses back on the label, just like it did once what? upon a time. Um, Does anyone know anything about that? Oh, Quinlan, I'm sorry. Are you having a bad day? I'm so sorry. Um, I hope your day gets better and we can take your mind off of stuff by raging about Young Living. Um, yeah, does anyone know anything about that as far as um, the FDA changing their rules? Because I haven't heard anything about that. 
but they see i mean if they did that they must be getting away with it somehow so i don't know um but but regardless it's the same amazing oil, oil. in both of these bottles the peppermint i can use it internally topically and aromatically you shouldn't hey i found a werther's original i just wanted you all to know that anyway i'm still looking <laughs> I have to clean out my drawers. The remote has to be in here somewhere. And yes. so I just don't worry about that. What's nice for me is like, just don't worry a little bottle that. that's easier to travel with. you right. <laughs> it's a bigger <laughs> bottle um, that, I'll, that I'll refill, you know, my small bottles refill. with. And so anyway, I That's what that it boils was, down yeah. to for me too. It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, look, it's much smaller. Yeah. And I don't throw these away because um, I don't, it's technically more cost effective to use the bigger bottle, to buy the bigger bottles. So I just refill those. That's right. Yeah. Keep right? The small and ones if you keep the and small just, ones yeah, and you okay, share, yeah. you want to mm -hmm. share oils with somebody, you can grab one of your little small bottles and put some oil in that and share it. Yep. So you have to share your big bottle. Unless you just want to be right. super generous. Yeah. But. So I always <laughs> keep all yeah. of my... None of these people can afford to be generous with anything. I have no idea where my fucking fog machine remote is. My bottles. I just do. And I find new uses for them. Well, And you can create your own blends, keep the bottles and... and create blends with them mm -hmm. um, and or use them to create a blend and then you can be quicker to go through and fill your diffusers with if there's something you want to diffuse so absolutely that's a good it's, tip yeah it's that really, is a really good it's tip. really good to be able to have those on hand you just never know when you might use them I, I have a labeler um, there's all kinds of labelers out there and I'm I like being organized and have labels but whenever I'm finding a recipe that somebody has shared with me or that I find in one of our amazing Young Living specific um, books, reference guides, amazing, um, I will you say. use a bottle of, an empty bottle of an oil that's listed in that recipe. Yes. <laughs> right? Because yes. I don't, personally, yeah. I don't wash my bottles out because it's right. like, ooh, I know there's gotta be one drop in here and I don't wanna <laughs> right. waste anything. Save it for later. Yeah. Right, so if I found a recipe that peppermint is one of the oils in that <laughs> They're recipe, all just I'll vaping. get an empty um, peppermint bottle that probably still has some residue, and then I'll make that recipe in my peppermint bottle, and then I put a label on here, and it's like, you know, Sarah's Muscle Blend, yeah. or... I have one right now, it says skin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for Josh. Are you trying to tell me that you have like one blend for like all of your skin problems? Because something tells me that the human skin is a little bit more complicated than that, but okay. But my first blend that I ever put together was for my son Joshua and it was ears. <laughs> it was his ear blend. Mm -hmm. And so... Wait. Hang on. Did she just say, did she just say she made a blend to put in her child's ears? There's no way that's okay. That is no, can you imagine? What kind of oil are these people putting in their ears? <gasps> you could just have oregano, but why not have the oregano extract? It's not even oregano extract, hun. It's oregano essential oil. So, cause it's essential to your health. It's not, <laughs> but yeah, they're miracle oils. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't get this. I don't get this. There's no way that putting essential oils in your ear is healthy or safe, let alone a child's ears. Oh my God. Yeah, I'll come out and say this right now. Uh, don't do that. Hey, your favorite sociopath. Look at you gifting 20 memberships. You know what's up. It's a Pop-Tart party right now. Look at all the Pop-Tarts in here. Everybody has a Pop-Tart by their icon. Hey, more Pop-Tarts in the chat. Thank you. I appreciate it. Garts, all new Pop-Tarts. <laughs> I think you meant to say grats, but now gart and tart rhyme. So if that was unintentional, it works. So great. <laughs> and Danielle, thank you for joining also. Wow, guys, look at all those Pop-Tarts. Now you get a Pop-Tart and you get a Pop-Tart. Um, they all talk about the changes to the way the company is allowed to operate on this show, but then in the same breath talk about how they really don't care and still encourage the wrong way on a show. Yeah, I don't... Dude, I don't get it either. Chaos is a ladder. Thank you for joining as well. Gotta lube up them eardrums. Blah! Like, even with, um, I forget what the stuff is called, but the stuff you put in your ear for, like, swimmer's ear and stuff, like, even that is uncomfortable, and that's, like, not oily. So, like, can you imagine? 
Like, please. Oh, you can't do memberships in all countries? That's weird. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Um, the scent of these oils alone would set off my allergies. Same. Same. And that's why I think I was saying that in the last episode. Like, it's a very common... Like, plants and stuff are very common allergens. So... I, d I just don't get how these people have just, like, never met somebody with a plant allergy. And then, like, if they have... Oh, yeah, yeah. Dubro Dubrox. Dubrox. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But, um... Anyway, like, either they've gotten really, really lucky, or they're all just ignoring every allergic reaction they've ever had to any oils ever. And I'm like, that's not good for your health. It's just such... Plants are a common allergen. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> anyway. Oh, um, so anyway, those are some really quick tips. But, you know, moving from getting placing your very first order with Young Living, after that, you know, so many people ask, well, what do I need next? I know that was my thought. None it's of like, it. Oh, my goodness. I have a wish list because I've been looking through the catalog or I've been looking through my reference guides and making a wish list. So, okay, here's a, uh, oils that I need to start adding to my collection. And so one of the most cost-effective things that you could eat, ever do is get uh, on loyalty rewards with Young Living. Absolutely. So, yeah, loyalty rewards. For anyone who doesn't know, Loyalty Rewards is their auto shipment. Your favorite sociopath, thank you for the two doll hairs. Guess who's moving to the beach next month? You're moving to the beach? That sounds awesome. Super cool. Don't get hit by any tsunamis. That always scares me. Like, I feel like I could never live, like, near the ocean because of, like, hurricanes and tsunamis and shit. Scares me. Uh, but, hey, congratulations. If that's a good thing, then I'm excited for you. Because there is something special about just always being on the beach. But <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, diffusing all these while having asthma is a bad idea. I think a lot of these people either, like, make their asthma symptoms worse or they just straight up just ignore them. Like, and then just keep diffusing. Like, it's fucking wild. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just, oh, your cat is snoring. That's so cute. Rewards is Hang on Young a Living's. Um, I'm still it's basically here. Basically, a monthly subscription. Um, it's your wellness box, so to speak, that you will get every month that you totally customize to whatever you're needing for your health and wellness. And in your first three consecutive months, on with a 50 PV order or more, you get 10% back in loyalty rewards points that you can save up and then cash in on free product, on, on the things that you're needing. Um, okay, first of all, you don't need any of this shit. Second of all, all of this stuff that you guys are ordering is severely overpriced, like unbelievably overpriced, that even being on an auto shipment and saving 10%, even then it's not, it, like you're not, it's not, um, fiscally a good idea what is the word i'm looking for it's not like financially responsible it's not worth the money it's not worth what you're paying for you guys know what i'm trying to say your favorite sociopath the best part is i'm funding it with a real job and not an mlm how many of these huns can just pick up and move to the ocean uh most of them can't but they'll pretend that they certainly could and they'll go to the ocean and pretend they're there all the time and they'll take all the selfies and say, look at me working from the beach. Ooh, shut up, Karen. <sighs> anyway, thank you for the, <laughs> for the uh, super chat. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, this whole, like, I feel like the auto shipment thing is such a scam. Uh, I want to say there's, like, a minimum amount that you have to put in every month. I'm not, I don't really remember. I have to brush up on my rewards program shit but i do also know that if you are a distributor with young living and um you, you want to get commissions from your downline you have to be on an auto ship pretty sure and that auto ship has to be i want to say don't quote me on this but i want to say it's like 250 dollars a month or 250 pv which basically evens out depending on what you're buying um so yeah you're probably spending about 200 bucks a month just to, if you want your downline commissions otherwise they keep it i think i don't think they roll over maybe they do i'm not sure but it's ridiculous yeah responsible that's a good word <laughs> financially responsible 
If these women put as much effort into a real business as they do in their MLMs, they'd have plenty of beachside properties. Right. That's what I'm thinking, too. And, like, I'm sorry, but, like, MLMs aren't doing that great these days. They're really not. And they'll sit there and deny it all, all over the place. But, like, someone sent me... I think even like yesterday, I think, or maybe it was this morning, I don't remember. But someone sent me uh, another big like Monet distributor just left and they did like an Instagram post kind of calling out all the shit in the company and stuff. Like Monet used to be one of the big dogs, you know? Monet used to be one of the more popular MLMs and now like you almost never hear about it because everyone basically left. Everyone left for Q Sciences. And now Q Science has got bought out by Awakened, I believe. And then they're all quitting there too. So it's like, I don't know. Young Living is not doing great. Um, certainly they reached their peak a long time ago and has just been on a steady decline ever since. So, which is a good thing for us. And I think that's um, good news on our end. Also, this ring... Damn, do you think those are real stones? Pippi's here! Hey guys, Pippi's here! Hi, Pippi! Oh, I hope you guys got to hear that. Oh, Just Mark, thank you for gifting 10 memberships. Okay, one more Pop Tart song and then we'll press play. It's a Pop Tart party right now. It's a Pippi party. Thank you, thank you. I do appreciate. Thank you for the pippies in the chat also. Yeah, if you just got gifted a membership, uh, you should have emojis of all my cats. So when they show up, you can just, <laughs> as you can see, all the black kitties, uh, That those that's that's Pippi. That's this one here. She my old lady. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to it. Month 4 through 24, it bumps to 20% that you're getting back on your loyalty rewards order to spend on free products, then after two years, month 25 and beyond, you're getting 25% back. It is the most amazing value. Wait, how many years did she say? Sorry. My dumb ass was reading the chat. Well, and by reading the chat, I mean just looking at all the <laughs> stickers. <laughs> Well, no, what did she say? There's 5% and after two years, two month years. 25 and beyond, you're getting 25% back. But you have to, like, that's not being in Young Living for two years. That's been, having been on the auto ship for two years. MLM, no, thank you for joining. Oh, yes, Tanya, thank you for reminding people to like the stream. Oh my gosh, not even 50 likes. What are you guys doing? <laughs> We have 200 viewers and only 50 likes. Whoa. Whoa. Take a minute to like the stream, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. And the amount of money you end up spending if you're on the auto ship for 24 months straight, dude. That's a lot of money, dude. So much money. It is the most amazing value. There's also free gifts they give you at month 3, 6, 9, and 12. Damn, you're fine. Give it to me, sock it to me. Okay, so what are the gifts? Like, what's their cheapest oil? Like, a, a lemon vitality oil? Ooh, I can get a $25 free oil. Wow, I spent $200 a month, but wow, thanks for the one free oil. I guess I'll get another one in three more months. Woohoo! And um, there's just so many perks. There's monthly perks. Smile for Mandy, free thank you for joining. Purchase. Um, when you place a loyalty rewards order over certain amounts. And so Young Living is always yes. making yeah. our products so mm -hmm. cost effective. And, and Young Living ha is making the least cost effective product in essential oil history, dude. Like by far. It's unbelievable how not cost effective Young Living is. Like even if you are... Even if you're getting 25% back on every single purchase that you're making, you're still spending more on the same exact fucking products as buying through Revive or Eden's Garden or Plant Therapy. Like, I'm sorry, but they're all the same. Period. Probably even better, honestly. Like, I mean, like Revive and Eden's Garden. Because historically, Young Living has been caught um, adding synthetic, cutting their oils with synthetics. That's a real thing that there's actual proof of happening. So, 
I mean, I would be willing to say, in my opinion, that oils from some of the other non-MLM competitors are probably higher quality than Young Living, and you can get them for cheaper. Unbelievable. Helping us get the things that we need. But I remember when I, I got started July 2006, um, I placed a second order that month, and it was my first time on Loyalty Rewards. And um, I've been on Loyalty Rewards 200 and Over 200, by the time yeah. this airs, I don't even know, <laughs> 210 plus months in a row. Mm -hmm. So she got in, I mean, I want to say she got in early, but like 2006 was basically when like social media started really picking up. Um, like I, I think that must have been, I think I made my MySpace in 2005, maybe, maybe 2004, something like that. But so like. MySpace, Facebook, and all those were like, if you got into an MLM in 2006, you made it before MLMs blew up on social media. Um, and so if you were in it at that point and you utilize social media, you were there for the boom and you blew up. So, I mean, I'm sorry, but this woman absolutely, like timing is everything, you know, she got in at a good time. Like right before there was a huge new technological boom that I'm sure she took advantage of. Period. Either that or she just like recruited her entire church, which is probably a mega church. These people all give mega church vibes. Maybe she recruited the whole church and then they, she got lucky and they all continued building. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I've gotten thousands and thousands of dollars of free yes. product. Yes. But I was needing um, particular oils. I was needing Melrose. <coughs> I was needing Dye Dyes back then. Didn't come in any of the starter kits. Um, and so I saw this kit. It's sitting right here, the Golden Touch One kit. And it's what is got that? Thieves, RC, Raven, Die Dyes, Melrose, Indoflex, Juvaflex, and all. The, I mean, these are all amazing blends that every home needs. Yes. So Golden Touch One is a play on Mom's Golden Touch. So it's kind of like what. Um, Ember Pine. Yeah. Um, the Young family is Mormon. Yes. Um, I know. Jacob Young, uh, who is Mary and Gary. <laughs> I always laugh when I say their names. Mary and Gary, um, their son, their oldest son. And he is, he like, I think he runs Young Living's like social media and stuff. And he does other stuff for corporate. He's basically the heir to the throne as soon as Mary Young decides that she's going to retire. He has come out and said that he's not mormon but like he's obviously still religious and he like he's still like heavenly father and blah blah he uses a lot of like lds um the whole entire lds ward she's in <laughs> yeah that's who she rec recruited um but yeah so what i'm so sorry <laughs> uh when he finally takes over the throne which will probably be soon Mary Young is old as balls. Um, I guess you could always say that it has LDS roots, yeah. But Jacob Young says that he's not Mormon. But, like, Mary Young very, very much is Mormon. She's also an opera singer, which is funny. A mom would want in her wellness chest at all times. And Hi, I'm a mom. Do you know what I want in my wellness chest? Uh, it's called a first aid kit. Uh, things I like. Uh, Band-aids. <laughs> Neil's born. Uh, maybe, maybe some like wraps, uh, some cold packs, heat packs. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's a, you want to talk about all a mom needs? That's basically it. Maybe some liquid bandage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, guess what? In my first aid kit in my house, there are zero essential oils in it. And we are getting by just fine. Thank you. Anyway, all those oils is like, oh, I think I need all of those things. But it was so much more cost effective for me to get it in, in a collection. Kit. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, so what? So what? What did y'all? What's your favorite collection that that Young Living has? Well, I love to tell people about the Feelings Kit. Um, I I love everything that's in the this Feelings kit, kit. It's really great when you get put it on loyalty rewards because individually purchasing these oils, you could do that, but you're going to have you're going to spend about $71 additionally, $70 more whenever you buy them individually versus if you put them when they get in the kit. So there's a that is unbelievable, but also like 
usually in these kits they come in smaller bottles so is she accounting for that because 71 extra dollars for the same how seven oils or whatever just because you get it in a kit that's a very steep discount it makes me think that maybe it's like five milliliter bottles in these kits which i think is the general yeah um uh, but then like the ones you buy are like 10 milliliters so it's like i don't know i'm just guessing that just that's the only thing that makes sense but also like i was saying their products are expensive as fuck so maybe huge huge savings when you buy it as a kit then you put it on loyalty rewards and you get points for it so it's I'll the look different up the oils um, i love of course valor's in there mm -hmm. um, it has harmony but present time which contains a very exquisite oil called neroli um, and present time is one that i keep in my pocket or keep with me um, with a child with special needs it really helps to kind of bring us back to center and um, not just him but also myself to remind me we're okay we're right here in this moment and it's all can we, okay first of all if it works for everybody reminding you that it's okay then why do you have to specify oh special needs kids like do the do these people not hear themselves that is terrible that is so terrible she's like first first trying to use her special needs child to sell these oils that like i've said before and you know i'll admit um some people with special needs usually like autistic kids and stuff like do really well with sense um it helps certain things but i mean not every autistic kid but there are some um and probably other people too who don't have autism but like that's just an example i can think of but like okay so first she's gonna make it sound like this is really great for those people for this specific reason and then right after that she's like also, it's good for everyone else for that same reason. Okay, why are you singling out the special needs if for no other reason other than to sell to people who are trying to help their special needs kids? Do you guys see what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like my words aren't coming out right, but like, hopefully that makes sense. I feel like what she just did is fucking disgusting. Disgusting what she just did. Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, the feelings kit. I saw people in the chat asking, what is the feelings kit? Well, here, let me tell you. Um, for the low, low price of $267.43, um, it, uh, it's, si oh my god, six essential oils. Six oil, oh, I'm gonna do the math here. The fuck is going on? Okay, so we got $267.43. 43 cents divided by six. 44 dollars and 50 cents per oil is the average there. And the, are these all five milliliters? Um, the... Yeah. Well, I'm looking at the picture now and it looks like they all say five milliliters. That is... insane. Anyway. Six essential oils... $44 each and change. Um, they're blends. <laughs> they're even blends. They're not even like the full like thing. Oh my God. Anyway, because the blends are usually cheaper because they usually like cut it with the cheaper oils or whatever. So fucking ridiculous. Damn. I feel like I'm raging more at this episode and we're barely like kind of how, how many minutes? Are, we're eight minutes in and I'm just, I'm, I'm angry, dude. Like, usually we're sitting here and having a good old jolly old time. No, today I'm pissed. <laughs> Anywho. Let's read this. Like, I've tried to, like, four times. Um, okay. Six essential oils <laughs> that inspire feelings of emotional well-being. And they provide the foundation for encouraging forgiveness. Bitch, go to therapy. If you need help figuring out how to forgive people or forgive yourself, you need to go to therapy. You don't need to be sniffing some fucking essential oils. Like, what the hell is wrong with these people? Okay. Uh, uh, and identifying oneself. Oh, here's an idea. Journal. <laughs> Do some introspection. Do some meditation. Maybe a lot cheaper than sniffing these expensive-ass essential oils. All right. Um... The essential oil blends featured in this collection are designed to help promote personal progression. Again, 
sniffing oils is supposed to do that for you like there are so many like self-improvement exercises and stuff that you can do for free including meditation hey tarot tarot's not free but like it's a lot cheaper than an, even one essential oil bottle anyway um journaling art you know like thought um thought experiments not experiments what are they called? I don't know. There's exercises, like thought exercises and shit. Like there's so many things you can do for personal progression. And these people just want you to sniff some fucking oils? You're going to progress as a spiritual human being if you just smell this lavender all day. How? And how is anyone falling for this, dude? I'm pissed. Okay, enjoy the empowering and uplifting benefits that feelings can bring to your day to day. The feelings collection includes, ew, okay, forgiveness essential, yeah, these are all five milliliters. These are the names of the blends. Forgiveness, harmony, inner child, what? Okay, Jessie Lee Ward just got turned over in her grave for a second there. Present time, release, and valor. Mm-hmm. We all going to do some breathing exercises here because I'm fucking raging. Raging. I don't know. Um, yeah, Aria Gloria says journaling is so much cheaper than that set of oils and you don't even need to join an MLM. And it's great, too. Like, for my, in like, I I've been bad about it. I haven't been doing it as much lately. But, like, I used to do, like, journaling every day. For, like, a few months there, I was doing it every day. And the introspection... And how I feel like I've progressed as a human, like, understanding myself and, like, understanding how I can, like, think differently than I'm used to. Like, having prompts that have me, like, look at different parts of life and the human experience in a different way than I've never, like, looked at before. Like, that kind of stuff is so great for personal development. And it's cheap if not free. Like, I... We can get back to it. I'm just, I'm so mad, dude. All gonna be okay. Um, God is with you. And so <laughs> um, I love, I've heard so many testimonies Stop. Um, about this kit. I heard so many testimonies and that's why I decided I wanted to have it in my home so I could have that arsenal to, we, we talk a lot about the physical, but the emotional. Whoa. Sarah says present time, which I'm assuming, was that one of those blends? Yeah. Um, retails for $131 for five milliliters on its own. $131? What is in that blend? Yeah, present time is in here. I bet there's uh, helichrysum, huh? Oh, no, that's what she was saying before. She said Neroli. And then Brack black spruce and ylang ylang whoa black betty ylang ylang <laughs> neroli i think she was saying is a really expensive one um yeah i feel god in this oil tonight <laughs> i'm so pissed i'm just pissed dude aspect of our health and wellness i wanted my family to be strong when it came to emotional wellness mm -hmm. Then take them to a fucking therapist, dude. Have them keep a diary. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Let me turn this down a little bit. This will probably be loud. Science. Hey, Wendy. How is a chemist like a lab party? I don't know. What is well, a lab party? Some drop the acid, but some drop the base. I'm Wendy. <laughs> and I'm Talia. You know, <laughs> they always start this segment with a really bad dad joke. This one, I don't even get it. A lab party? Is that a thing? How do I get invited to one? <laughs> Some drop the acid, but others drop the ba- What does that mean? I mean, I know, I know what those two things mean individually. I don't get it! That made that made you laugh. <laughs> Watch out! 
I don't get it. Oh, acid and base slash bait. Oh, okay, Eli. Listen, I haven't taken a chemistry class for like 18 years, so. <laughs> B-A-S-E slash B-A-S-S. -S. Got it. Got it. And this, and this is, is a science, science highlight. highlight. Seed to Seal is an industry-defining commitment to our products. Our Seed to Seal quality commitment serves our planet and ensures the highest quality standards. Gary Young developed our five-step Seed to Seal sourcing standards. Uh, did one of those steps include importing your oils from third parties? Because y'all doing that. Is there a cat? What cat is back here? <gasps> back kitty? Hi! Come here! Come here, back kitty! <laughs> Here she is. We got the fat one. Anyway, <laughs> you have to sniff an oil <laughs> to get their jokes. I guess so. Um, hold on. Take a moment for Eddie. Here she is. You go fat, kitty. Um, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I have a whole video about the seed to seal scam. I think I did it about a year ago or something like that. Um, yeah, it got exposed, like, hardcore, because, well, court documents came out from the doTERRA versus Young Living lawsuit, where plenty of people testified and basically said, like, yep, uh, I was in charge of, like, importing oils from the, like, the, you can go online right now and look it up, like, there are confirmed reports of them, like, go on any import-export website, and you can see what they've been importing and exporting. We're talking, like, not just the plants to make the oils, but, like, the pre-made oils themselves. And, and this has been going on, allegedly, for a long time. Like, people have been test like, when was the doTERRA lawsuit? Like, 2006 or something like that? Years ago. And it's still, you know, anyway, if you, it's a long video, it's a long story, so if you want to know how all of that got exposed and now they're all just exposed for being liars and just pretending like <laughs> none of us ever figured that out. Um, yeah, I have a video for it. I think the thumbnail, I'm trying to remember, it's like super colorful and it has Mary and Gary on it. Um, and I think it says like all lies or something on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recommend watching that video because it will open your eyes to the truth behind the seal, the seed to seal bullshit. And that's exactly what it is. It's bullshit. It's like not a thing. The seed, like, they have their farms, and they do plant some seeds, and then they do turn those seeds into some essential oils, but literally people in the court documents have testified that the essential oils that come from their farms hardly make up, like, a singular percent of the actual oils they sell. They have, I think, six farms, and then they have partner farms that they don't own, so it's like they're not in control of planting all those seeds and doing all that shit, so... It's all a lie. It's all a fucking lie. Do they sell car oil? No. <laughs> no. They do not. Yeah, they... That is a loud-ass airplane. Um, yeah, they still push seed to seal, and they will continue to push seed to seal, because they think that eventually so we're, we're all just gonna forget about it. You know what the other thing is, too, is that it's been, like, a year and a half since I remember them saying this, maybe even longer, but they had like a, um, like a, not a convention, it was like some conference or something where someone on the stage for Young Living was like, you guys asked for it and we're gonna bring it to you. We're bringing you the, what is it called? GCMS testing or something like that. Like they're like, we're finally gonna release the testing reports. Woo! And they haven't done it yet. Not that I know of. If they have, someone correct me. But like, I feel like that's something I would have known when they finally decided to do that. But they haven't done it they're not transparent they're fucking liars dude and you know why because if they do release all of those testing results you'll be able to compare those test results with every other essential oil company out there who do provide their testing results dude even doTERRA does I'm pretty sure don't quote me on that I'm pretty sure they do though if they release those test results they either have to doctor them to make them look a lot better than they are or we're all just going to see that they're all the same quality and their prices are gouged to shit for nothing. So, 
Now, insisting on premium quality at every stage of seed, cultivation, distillation, testing, and sealing. Testing that we don't tell you guys about. You guys aren't allowed to see it. They literally say, if you, if you look to them and you say, excuse me, may I please have a testing result for this specific oil, please? They will say no, because it is propri proprietary information. Yeah, they won't do it. Science is the cornerstone of what we do at Young Living. We use cutting edge methods to develop new products and to ensure the quality of every product that arrives at your door. We have a state of the art lab with some of the most advanced state and of coolest the scientific mm -hmm. equipment available. While our product quality starts in the fields, it's proven in our state-of-the-art labs. Our rigorous research institute and quality program are staffed with more than 50 highly trained, highly skilled scientists who use advanced testing methods to help ensure that products meet our lofty standards. You're going to try to tell me that all 50 of Young Living's farm employees are all scientists? That's doubtful. The quality control team uses a minimum of 21 physical, chemical, and microbiological tests to measure the exact components and properties of our essential oils. And each test is repeated multiple times before that oil leaves the warehouse. The lab occupies... <laughs> Let us see the tests! Hey! <laughs> if they allegedly have all these tests, it's not that hard to just, I don't know, let us see them. Here's a thought. Let us see the tests. You said you were going to. It's been like almost two years probably at this point. Where are the tests? It's approximately 5,000 square feet and runs between 75 to 125 samples a day. Within the laboratory, there are more than 150 pieces of equipment used to test the physical, chemical, microbial, and organoleptic composition of Young Living products. Each raw oil is sent to our quality control lab for identity, composition, and purity testing. We run four different identity tests, FRIR, spectroscopy, which analyzes an oil by its function, components like ketones, aldehydes, and alcohols. Wait. Ketones in essential oils? How and why? Are there, I mean, I know there's like, obviously from the prove it shit, there's exogenous ketones, pure exogenous therapeutic ketones. And then there's the ketones that like your body makes. I think there's the two different kinds, which obviously like the kind your body makes isn't gonna be. So like, it doesn't make sense to me how ketones would be in essential oils. I don't know where my scientists at. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna set me straight and be like, actually, Savannah. <laughs> but like, that doesn't make sense. And refractive index testing measures the bending of light as it passes through an oil. Optical rotation measures how much polarized light rotates through an oil, which tells the chirality of the oil and tells if the oil has been adulterated. Oh, okay, so if that's the case, then how come so much of your cinnamon bark oil and your thieves oil back whenever those test results came back, how come those made it to market? Because it's really interesting that multiple people came out and sent their cinnamon bark oil to a third party lab, multiple third party labs, and they all came back being cut with synthetics. So how, if you're so rigorously testing it, how, pray tell, are they making it to market being cut with synthetics. How, how? Make it make sense. It makes no sense. It's just, it's such bullshit, dude. It is such bullshit. And even like, they're, they're sitting here like, oh, we do these four different tests on every single oil, even though we don't show it to you. And it's like, even then, are any of those tests done with a third party lab or are they all your scientists on your payroll? You know, are they biased? Probably. And like, define scientists, dude. Like, wh what are their certifications? Because I don't believe it. Chirality is when you have two different oils that are mirror images of each other, like your hands. A right chiral rotates light to the right, and the left chiral rotates light to the left. When placed one- Wow, ma'am, thank you so much for that visualization, because I wouldn't have understood otherwise. <laughs> one over the other, they don't match up. They only match up as mirror images. 
Two examples of chiral oils are dill and spearmint. They have the exact same formula on paper, but they smell very, very different. Specific gravity is the last identity test. Specific gravity. Um, I'm seeing people in the chat talking about the ketone situation. They mean the chemistry ketones, not the prove it stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I didn't know there were chemistry ketones and then like other kinds of ketones. Just a voice. Thank you for the super chat. Are they just testing the stuff from their farm or the large amounts of oils they import? Can they even test all the oils? Keep on calling them out. We appreciate it. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, in my opinion, if I had to guess money on it, I would say that they're not testing them. Not four times every single batch anyway. I think this is all bullshit. I think they're like, hey, these are the tests that we could be running. And we're going to tell you how they work with big words. And you're not going to understand them. Don't worry. We don't understand them either. We're just going to say them in our script. Um, yeah, my guess is that they just don't do all those tests because and if they do do the tests and they they just they don't care do they even look at the tests like if there's been multiple instances of essential oils being cut with synthetics then why why wasn't that stopped why wasn't why did you guys put it out and sell it do you just not care or did you not check the test result i don't get it you know Gravity measures how dense a substance is by comparing it to water. Next is composition testing. The results of composition testing is compared to a library that contains over 400,000 components. This includes GC or gas chromatography. I thought she was going to say Jesus. The GC separates the components of an oil by composition. The GC IRMS is the gas chromatography, isotope mass spectrometry. Okay, so. Um Quinlan just posted in the Discord, um, oh my god, I have to sneeze, hold on. The test identifies how much of each component is in the oil and tells whether it's from nature or synthetic. Ultra high performance liquid chromatography determines Excuse the active me. ingredients in... Um, okay, essential oil chemical families, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to take the time to read all this, but um, major chemical families, and I guess ketones is one of those, so... Yeah, I guess they're separate from, like, excuse me. Um, yeah, I guess they're, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know anything about chemistry. But these people are pretending they know something about chemistry. So at least one of us here is being honest with ourselves. Products including B vitamins, Ninja Nitro, and Ninja Zing. Purity testing is determined by GC, optical <laughs> rotation, ICPMS, microbiological and peroxide value testing. These tests ensure the purity of the oil is held to the highest standard. ICPMS is used to identify heavy metals like arsenic, lead, and mercury. This test can detect heavy metals down to the 0.1 parts per billion level. That's like if you had a traffic jam from Ohio to California and you needed to find the one car that didn't belong. Microbiological testing looks for microbial components present and peroxide value determines any <laughs> oxidation that has occurred in the product. Other tests include densitometry, viscometry, refractometry, olfactometry, spectroscopy, automated microenumeration, accelerated stability testing, pH, combustibility, flashpoint, and water activity. You're telling me they're like setting this shit on fire? Anyway, how how long do you think that these two girly pops here um, like rehearse this part of their script so that they can pronounce everything right? And are they even pronouncing everything right? I doubt it. I, <laughs> I'm becoming allergic to the oily show. No, it's probably because Pippi's over here. And I'm allergic to Pippi. I actually am allergic to... I'm allergic to black cats. Didn't know that till I got one. Actually, I don't think I developed that allergy until later. Because I feel like she never used to make me all, like, sneezy and shit. But she does now. So I don't care. I still snuggle with her. But she does make me sneeze. 
and more. <laughs> Once the raw materials have been approved by quality control, it's then handed off to be bottled. After bottling, the final product is sent back to the quality control department and retested in their final packaging. I'm sorry, that seems like way more work than Young Living would ever fucking do. No fucking way. Absolutely not. No. No. To ensure no contamination has occurred in the production process. Every time you open a bottle of oil from Young Living, you can breathe easy and rest assured that you have all this science and testing in the palm of your hand. Um, please do not put undiluted essential oil on your skin. Thank you. Hey, Smoothie Queen. Hey, Laura. Jean. Oh, I love you. I wanted you to try my new smoothie recipe. Since you're so good at them, you do them all the time, I want you to that learn made this me uncomfortable. because it's a, new, it's a game changer. And I want to learn it because there's not enough smoothie recipes no. in my arsenal. So, I doubt that. Smoothie recipes? I mean, I guess, I guess you could call them a recipe, sure. You just like throw fruit into a blender. <laughs> But okay. But I want to add this one to your arsenal. So Perfect. have you ever made a cup of hot tea and you're so excited to enjoy that mm -hmm. and just be nourished mm -hmm. by it and mm -hmm. then life happens and mm. everybody else needs you and then it's two o'clock in the afternoon and you didn't get your morning tea. And it's cold. It is. But I would cold tea is better anyway. Fight me. Is determined I was not going to let my beautiful spiced turmeric herbal tea from Young Living go to waste. Okay. So I took my tea. Spiced turmeric herbal tea. That sounds gross. <laughs> also, like, are there essential oils in those teas? Probably not. It's probably just the plants, huh? I'll look it up. And I said, it's afternoon. I need a little pick-me-up because I do not want that crash in the afternoon. Right. I don't want to just eat a bunch of carbs and be, have no energy. So I want right. just a little pr protein pick-me-up. So I go. thought, let's combine it with this new, beautiful, pure protein complete vanilla spice. Okay, so let me get this straight. They're gonna put protein powder and tea together in a smoothie. Ugh, ew, I got lipstick on my chin. Whoops. Okay, spice turmeric herbal tea set. Oh, it comes with an essential. Sorry, I'm like burping. Um, it <laughs> when you buy this tea set, it comes with a vitality oil, I guess, to drop into the tea, which is wild. Um. Tangerine Vitality uh, essential oil and turmeric herbal tea. Let me see what's in it. Um, ingredients. Ginger root, cinnamon bark, ru ruibos, fennel seed, blah, uh, peppercorn, turmeric. Turmeric is like in the middle of the ingredient list, so why, why don't you call it spiced ginger tea? <laughs> you know, like ginger is the first ingredient. Anyway, um, sarsaparilla natural chai flavor and organic vanilla flavor i don't know i mean listen you, if you guys like tea like that good for you um and then you put drops of tangerine inside of it uh, i don't know i don't know oh also by the way um 44 dollars and 0 0.8 what nope 44 <laughs> i swear to god i can never read numbers 44 dollars and eight cents that's what i was trying to say um for 15 little sachets of tea 15 and a bottle of oil that'll run you 44 dollars congratulations no added sugars and then some frozen bananas for a little Perfect. texture yes and you're gonna love it okay, okay. so i'm gonna That's let you it? make so wait the only the only fruits you're putting in this smoothie are frozen bananas I don't know. Can you call it a smoothie at that point? Because hashtag no. Get. Okay. I'm so excited. So All pour, right. Pour the tea. Okay. And so tea into tea in, into net, this. And I do it in a smaller serve. I I'm sorry. Is that a Young Living branded, sh uh, what are they called? Shaker, blender, blender bottles? They got, they got Young Living branded everything. And I bet, well, I mean, maybe it was like a gift at a convention or something. 
But if you were to buy that, it's probably like three times the price of a regular blender bottle. And that's that's all that is. <laughs> kind of measure everything in here because if nobody, there's nothing worse than making an entire blender full of a smoothie that is for one person is too much. You right. could always pour it into popsicle Perfect. containers yep. or if you have a myriad of neighbors. A great little with. single serving. <laughs> a myriad of neighbors. Just call them neighbors. A neighborhood. That's what that's called. That's the word you were looking for. A myriad of na No, it's a neighborhood, ma'am. Single serving. Okay. okay. Frozen bananas. And okay. that is, those are four little pieces. That's about half a banana. Okay. I peel my bananas and then I quarter them, freeze them. Makes great texture. Perfect. Um, then you're, you want coconut milk. A coconut milk. And how yeah. much am I going to be putting in here? Just kind of eyeball it, but usually okay. eight, eight to 10 ounces. Okay. About the same. And depending on the thickness that you want, Ugh. um, the smoothie to have, there, there you go. I guess I'll put a little bit more. She dumps the rest of it in there. <laughs> Ma'am. All right. It's a pretty color already. It is. And then two scoops. It's like off white, but okay. Oops. Okay. Let's do this over here. Let me move. Uh, the protein complete. Pure protein complete, which it's vanilla spice, so it's gonna give you additional little added spice to that that spice turmeric. And then if you want to add other vanilla and turmeric, like I don't know, I like maybe <laughs> Avi Fish says as a Brit they can fuck off. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, this is ruining any tea ever. Um, protein. Hannah, you. Um, yeah, putting essential oils in tea sounds like hell. Uh, what in the herbal life are they making? I don't fucking know. But yeah, thick and slimy sludge-like tea. That's exactly what this feels like. Oh my god. I don't even want to press play. Like, I don't... Out of all the things that they've ever made, like, there are plenty of things that I'm like, okay, like, maybe mine, like, if you replace the essential oils for, like, the actual ingredient, like, take the oregano oil out and put in actual oregano, yeah, sounds good, looks good, great. This? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, no. No, no. I would rather die. Oils. That's great too. I like a little bit more cinnamon in my banana bread, which okay. um, banana is not bread. traditional in the, in the turmeric spice. So you've got that there. Are you suggesting that this smoothie is gonna taste like liquid banana bread? Listen, I love banana bread. I love smoothies, but this ain't it. And also you don't put turmeric in banana bread. Do you? I don't. <laughs> Every time I've made banana bread, it's not turmeric laced. Do we just pour it all in? Pour that, pour it pour in there. Pour it all in. Excellent. And then we'll put this on. Get it going. We're going to hit our buttons here. Let me. There we go. The nice thing about those frozen bananas mm -hmm. is you get them in small enough chunks and then they don't take as long to blend. So that's perfect. They're really, really frozen. It might take a minute. You might have a little. Wait, did she put the frozen bananas in there already? I must have missed it. Did she? That doesn't look like a lot of stuff in there. Okay. Chunky bananas, yes. too. But I like the banana. It's a staple in our look house. Look at that. Even ew, looks like ew, 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 ew. I'm sorry. That looks like mucus. <laughs> that looks like snot. And it was so chunky. Please tell me they're going to blend this more. Right? You're not going to just, like, you can't, that will not go through a straw. That was chunky as hell. Banana bread batter. It does. Your, if your banana bread batter is chunky like that, your banana bread's going to be nasty. So it's kind of like we're eating batter. I love batter. It's kind of like you're eating shit and snot. Yes. I love cookie dough. I love all the things. You love the batters, so I'm it. gonna I'm gonna shake this up for you. Okay. Now let me just say I did make a smoothie similar to this, but I added. Bur did you see her face? What I mean, she's still kind of making the face. She was like angry. She's like, let me shake this up for you. <laughs> Don't clip that. Oh shit! <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but um, also like you just got done blending it, so why do you have to shake it?
bergamot oil. Ooh. And the bergamot oil is, if you like Earl Grey tea, it is actually the ingredients in the Earl Grey tea. So I added bergamot oil, I don't think is in Earl Grey tea. I think it's just straight up bergamot, right? Please. That to it, and it's very soothing. Ooh. So you can very add nice. a bunch of. I have some bergamot there if you want to try you? it too. Okay, let me, let me try this Without. just by itself. Okay. She's like, let me try this, and she chugs half of it. Mmm. Mmm. It, it it's got I the banana bread vibe. The banana, the, vibe. Banana, the no spice. Way. And the, let me just say, I know we talked about this before, but the banana does not overpower that spice that's even in the protein complete. Plus, it is amazing with the chai. Mm -hmm. And that would make yeah. it pop popsicles for the kids. Here's Please don't. <laughs> hey, here's an idea. No child wants to eat that, especially as a popsicle. <laughs> Hashtag worst parents ever. Hashtag no. <laughs> Another thing, I've also, you can put, you can add things I to it. So the bananas for Ew. little kids. They're greens, like they're green powder added to that. Oh, gross. Are usually well received. So adding, I've added Ningxia greens. Mm. Um, you could do your ICP daily. I could totally daily. see that. Yeah. ICP? You're gonna add the whole insane clown posse into there, huh? You could do your inner beauty collagen and get that extra added in and it's good for anybody. Yeah. Except for people who are allergic to bananas. How about that? How about that? I can, pro I can probably think of a lot of other people that this wouldn't be good for either. But, you know, let's start with people who are allergic to bananas. I'm glad the Smoothie Queen likes it. Let me just say, <laughs> this is the most amazing banana bread smoothie I've ever had. Like, banana bread. The only one you've ever had? Because I've never had a banana bread smoothie, and I love banana bread, and I love smoothies. Never had a banana bread smoothie, all right? Is it the only it banana smoothie, bread yeah. smoothie you've ever had? But that's okay. You make it too. We want to hear what your favorite smoothie recipes are because the literally anything without essential oils in it. Thank you. The smoothie queen needs to add to her arsenal. Yeah. I hate it. Sometimes the oils that come in the in the kits, well, most of the time when they come in the kits, they come in five milliliter bottles. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can't get certain oils in five milliliter size unless they're in a kit, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Like, so Joy is only available right now as the, you know, the airing of this is only available 15 mil, but if you get it, you know, in the kit, it comes in five. So then you have that. You have that little travel size. the little travel size bottle to take with you <laughs> yes. and you keep with you, you know, mm -hmm. put it in your pocket, put it in your purse. Mm -hmm. um, and so that makes it more convenient as That's well. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Cause I do love those travel sizes yep. ones. Yeah. You know, my first kit, um, when I came in, I came in, Sarah is my upline, but I'm actually under her mom, Karen Hopkins. Oh, wouldn't that make Karen Hopkins your upline then? <laughs> oh, wait, no, you know what? You know what this is giving? This is giving stacking. This is giving Sarah recruited her own mother. And then in order to grow her business, in order to level up in, in the um, corporate, not the corporate ladder, but I guess the equivalent of in MLM terms, uh, in the organization. To level herself up into the organization, she added Beverly underneath her mom. So that way she's got, she's got her mom as a direct recruit and then it seems like her mom is recruiting more people and that's the kind of stuff you need in order to gain rank in these companies. Hmm. Oh, my shirt says beer, babe. <laughs> I got it from Grand Canyon Brewery. Thank you. <laughs> if anyone is in the Flagstaff Williams area or the Grand Canyon area, it's a great brewery. Really cute. Um, and I'm beer babe today. Not drinking beer, but I'm always a beer babe. Anyway, um, yeah, you know, this this is giving pyramid scheme. That that singular little statement she made there is definitely giving pyramid scheme. Interesting. Interesting. Why are they so obsessed with bottles? Because they think that it's one of those things that like adds value. And it, it's really hard to come by any kind of value at all in Young Living. So they're going to latch on to it as much as possible is basically what's going on here. Anyway. 
you're envious of my location i do like arizona it is great i want to see my mom and chandler but i can't Ugh, chandler's still really far um i'm going to tucson tomorrow for secret video stuff oh it's not it's not that big of a deal uh i'm going down there to be a creep and uh film an abandoned ish factory for my next deep dive Ooh. um yeah so that'll be interesting i'm like dragging my husband down to tucson with me chandler's like at this point like halfway in between tucson and phoenix it's like so far south anyway um been to arizona yeah arizona's great dude like if you've never been here you should visit don't visit in the summer like well i mean you can visit northern arizona in the summer don't come to phoenix during the summer you'll die uh <laughs> but man i love it here so much we're so we're close to la we're close to vegas uh close to the ocean um like when I say close, I mean, like, the closest ocean is, like, a four-hour drive, which would be Rocky Point, so it would be Mexico, but, um, so you need a passport to get there, but, like, San Diego is, like, five and a half hours away. Anyway, I think the location here is wonderful. The desert, I love the, um, what's it called? The environment, I guess? I don't know. Not so much the desert. I like the high country, you know, our little forests and stuff. Arizona's great. Anyway. And Karen was traveling at, when we came in all over the world doing raindrops on everybody. And so raindrop was actually the first kit that I got because she was doing raindrops and she taught me raindrops and I need to do raindrops. And this is, you know, my kids were giving me raindrops. So they were interesting. Interesting. I'm sorry, your kids were doing what now? Is it, you know what's interesting? You want to talk about what's interesting? Because I think two episodes ago, was it her? Who's the one? No, no, no. It's that Talia girl, I think, who said that she's certified in, she's a certified raindrop technician or some shit. Um, and now you're telling me that your kids are just like, if, if it's so simple that kids can do it, then what is the point of being certified in it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. Such a money grab. Damn. The desert scares you. I went to U of A <laughs> and miss Arizona so much. Haven't been back in a few. Yeah, but U of A is in Tucson. I hate Tucson. I honestly do. I have to go down there tomorrow uh, because that is the location of things. But um, <laughs> things that I'm going to be secretly filming. Uh, but I mean, I guess not so secretly. I'm just going to whip out my camera <laughs> but, uh, um yeah there's not much in tucson really it's just like I, I, every time i've been there i just i don't like it very much but i'm doing it uh, doing it for the vine you know so but anyway um <laughs> uh, the desert shouldn't scare you i mean yeah things want to kill us here there's like lots of poisonous lizards and spiders and snakes and stuff but it's fine <laughs> It's really hot, but it's fine. Interesting raindrops from children, but they still work. So <laughs> yep. I, this is my favorite kit. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just going to, you know, any of these kits, when you open it up, it's like, oh, there's so many things in there. Oh, and the, but there's oh, like sorry. nine oils in there. They're all kind of messed up, but they dance. They were so dancing. Much. There's so They're much dancing. value in each of these boxes. Anybody else have a favorite? I'd like to say it comes with instructions. Yes. I think because if you're like, what do I do with that kit? Oh my gosh. Right? They come yep. with they, instructions yes. on how to use the oils. For raindrop, I understand, like, because there's like a whole method or whatever, even though they're like, it doesn't matter what oil you put them on, just get them on and it works. Uh. Um, but like, like, for example, like the uh, feelings set, what instructions do you need? It's like one of them, what was it? Like, I don't, I don't even remember what they were. They were just, like, stu harmony or something. Like, you feel like you need harmony in your life? You diffuse harmony. Like, it, uh, what do you need instructions for? Yes. Yeah. That's Very right. Good. And Very the great good. thing about the raindrop is because they come in the five mils, you can buy the 15 milliliters to refill them. That's mm -hmm. right. More yes. cost effective that way. But then oh, you also yes. get the large, the ortho ease and the, yeah. the. Yes, um, I was going to say, this comes with the whole ortho ease and the whole V6, you know, so. Yeah, you should start with the raindrop kit. If you're going to do raindrops, you're going to learn raindrops, you should start with the kit. Yes. And then after you run out, you start refilling with the bigger bottles. With the bigger bottles, yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. And more information about our raindrop, um, check out season two, episode six. <laughs> 
There you go. <laughs> you can learn a lot more about. No, no, no. You know what you should do is you should watch my live stream reacting to that episode and you'll learn a lot more, I promise. <laughs> uh, the raindrop and why we all absolutely love, love it. Love, love, love. Now, for me, as I was on loyalty rewards and getting all of these loyalty rewards points, which by the way, I know a lot of times as people are new, they're like, what does points mean? What does PV mean? Um, PV oh, is God. your personal volume. And so with it, with any given product, it has, you know, your wholesale, the retail price, the wholesale price and, and PV, personal volume. I always like to think of it in my mind, even though this is an official point value. And so for most of the products, it's wholesale dollars are equivalent to however many PV. Well, the PV, the uh, personal volume. Wait, so what you're telling me is that like, so for example, if that bottle of oil she's holding, let's say for example, the retail value, you know, some, something that someone who's not in Young Living would pay for that. Um, so let's say it's $50. But then if you are in Young Living, you get it for... 42 you're only like even if you well i guess i guess you wouldn't get points if you're not in young living so it wouldn't matter never mind but still like what she's saying is like oh you get points for the wholesale value and not the retail value so like they're kind of ripping you off there too ew is how they determine how you know how many loyalty rewards points you're gonna get back um and accumulate so on loyalty rewards if i've got you know, say a, a $10 bottle of oil, and I've been on loyalty rewards for over two years, I'm getting, you know, 25% back. So that's what, $2.50. Um, I should have used a bigger example. I know, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, that's where the- Well, yeah, because what, what essential oil, what product do you guys offer that's $10? I'm struggling to think of one. <laughs> those those loyalty rewards points are PV points that you're going to mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. And so, but as you accumulate those, then you get to cash them in on products. So the first thing that I cashed in my points for was the um, Oils of Ancient Scripture Me too. collection. Yes. <laughs> How many of y'all did that? Oh my God. And I, we looked it up a few episodes ago. I want to say that uh, set is like almost three hundred dollars, like two hundred and eighty or something like that. I could be wrong. I could be m misremembering, but like, how long? How many months did you have to save up your fucking points to be able to afford that? Like, for example, she okay. So she said that this is the first um thing that she spent her points on, and for the first what did she say? The first like year or something, you get ten percent back, or maybe it's like six months or something. So let's say, for example, actually, I'll look it up and tell you an exact price. Okay, oils of ancient, no, not pills of ancient scripture. What are you doing? Of ancient scripture, young living. Oh, excuse me, it's over $300. $303.95, 300, Jiminy Christmas. However, you only get, um points for the wholesale value which is 231 dollars still ridiculous but anyway so 10 percent of that would be 23 dollars where was i going with this basically what i'm saying is well okay no yeah so she hold on my brain's not working oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> i did and so here hammy I, I would love to so yes this so this is so precious. It's, t it's ten I don't know. My brain's not able to like do math right now. But my, what I'm saying is, she uh, had. Oh, okay. So if it's two hundred thirty-one dollars, then she would have had to spend two thousand three hundred and ten dollars on product to get ten percent back to be able to afford that. That's what I was trying to say. Which is ridiculous, but also not an absurd amount of money to these people. Um, they're, they're regularly spending 200 bucks a month anyway. So let's just say she was saving up for a year for this. Like that's insane. And oils, um, mentioned in the Bible, very often mentioned in the Bible and a lot. The oils mentioned in the Bible are either anointing oils, which are not essential oils. 
Um, they're usually, I think from what I understand, they were like infused oils, you know, because they didn't have um, a ste steam distillation, I think is what they use for Young Living. And that's kind of like the, st whatever the standard distillation process is now, I want to say it's steam. Um, they didn't invent that until after biblical times. So these oils that these people are like, oh yeah, they were in the Bible. No, they weren't. The anointing oils, I don't know what their carrier oil was, but it was like, put a muffler on your car, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so they were like infused oils, not essential. Um, they were never distilled the same way they are today. And even then, like you got frankincense and myrrh, like a lot of the times in the Bible when those are mentioned, they're just talking about the herb, like talking about the plant. It's like, just go buy some fucking frankincense, dude. I can't. I can't. Like, this is just a money grab. And what makes it even worse is it is preying on religious people because $300 for this fucking kit? And she even said, I think it was the last episode, she's like, oh yeah, the first kit I used my points on was this, this oils of, ah, my tea I just knocked over. Um, she's like, yeah, yeah, because I wanted to smell what Jesus smelled. Yeah, that's religious manipulation. They just manipulated you into buying $300 worth of essential oils that you don't need. And Jesus never smelled those oils because those oils didn't exist back then. <laughs> they were totally different. They are not the same like chemical composition that they are now. Like it's just, it's so frustrating and making, charging $300 for essential oils in the name of Jesus and the name of God and the name of the Bible is so infuriating to me drives me fucking up the wall and these people are like yeah yeah we're buying these for jesus it's like yeah you're a fucking sucker dude you fell for it congratulations i i can't it pisses me off a lot of these oils are very rare um they come from plants that are low oil yielding so they're more costly when you purchase them individually but in the collection they're such a great value but even so the you know it, it's it's uh i don't want to say how do you put expensive. a, how do you put a price you on you can't put a price that. on that wait you can't cash in the points for their rose oil for real really i mean i know it's really expensive because which is so stupid like i bought a rose essential oil from was it eden's garden i don't remember and I, I mean it was a few years ago too but i think it was maybe like $30 or something like that and these people like they charge so much for their rose oil because they're like oh it takes like a hundred pounds of rose petals to make one bottle or some shit like that it's like as if roses are so hard to come by but I, I mean I don't know I I don't know what that process is like but to me that sounds like a cop-out and if other well-established well-respected essential oil I mean as respected as an essential oil brand can be if they can offer rose essential oil for 30 percent of the price that young living offers it's like that's so stupid and it's like if you saved up your points for rose oil they should let you fucking buy it that's stupid that's so dumb roses do smell lovely and rose oil is nice i'll you know i'll give them that but why fucking why is that the only one that they don't let you use your points for Interesting. Right. But I was so glad to be on loyalty rewards and have those points so that I got mine for free. And so I've gotten so many free oils of ancient scripture kits. And um, I love to teach this class, but oh my goodness, from frankincense and myrrh. And I mean, this was definitely top on my wish list. And I was so thankful for loyalty rewards so that I could get this in my hands. And you can order some Ugh. of these oils separately, but this is the only... Katie, thank you for renewing your membership for 25 months. Look at you. Place that you're going to get these awesome gold labels. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's, right. That's true. They're gorgeous. I and, love them. and you can only get Onica in here. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we do have Cassia in um, a single bottle, but I'm trying to pop this one out. Right. But Cassia, mm -hmm. oh my word, is amazing. And this is one that does happen to taste a little sweet to me, but it's yes. super, super hot. She's, she's eating it? She's eating it. Can, can you eat? I don't know what Cassia is, but like that's not in the Vitality line that I know of. Is it? I can look. Oh. Uh, 
You're fucking eating. Okay. Hot, I'm Googling but it's it. like cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And, um, but anyway, I need cassia mm -hmm. and it comes in this can. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, how, what about, um, just for the record, doTERRA has cassia for $30 and 67 cents. Uh, so young living's all out here. Like uh, sometimes we have cassia. It's like, okay, well, you know, if you need it so bad, Go to doTERRA. <laughs> um, is cassia the same as cinnamon? It's similar to true cinnamon. Interesting. I don't, I don't, okay. I, I want to see a picture of what cassia is. It's a flower. Oh, you can buy a cassia tree at Tree Mart. <laughs> That's funny. Um, no, it looks like a, a yellow flower, a lovely yellow flower. Which I guess, like, some flowers are edible. But then you're going to tell me it tastes like cinnamon? That's weird. Anyway. Not everybody else. What was your first products that you that you got with your points? I'm going to say I first got, well, not with the points, but I want to go back to this is the first kit I got. And because I liked it so much, I got another kit for a family member. And uh, for me, my whole thing was I was a new mom. I shouldn't say I was a super new mom, but I was a new mom to how to take care of my kids with alternative ways. <laughs> Who made you do that? I had to do that. So, uh, why? Because you joined Young Living and then suddenly they told you not to vaccinate your kids. Like, is that what you're saying, dude? And so um, I wanted it to be healthier. I wanted to put um, things on their bodies that were a lot more gentle than what I had been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essential oils is definitely that. <laughs> Please. More gentle my butt. And um, so for me, this kit was such a lifesaver to me. Um, I felt empowered. I felt equipped. Um, also, it's all in the marketing, baby. They were hoping that they were going to be able to make you feel that way. Oh, I know Sarah. She was my upline. Uh, oh, she she's your upline too. Wow. Sarah's just everyone's upline here. Wow. Gave me a, a, a particular book and this particular book um, told me exactly what I needed for that particular thing that we were addressing at home. And it just, it was so awesome. Me as a mom, I just felt like, you know what? I can do this. Um, my kids can be well, and they can live really, really energetic lives. And um, so anyways, I absolutely love that because every oil hits on something at home. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, I mean, that's what Gary Young said anyway. So yeah, I love that kit. I love to give a challenge um, to each new person that starts to use the Young Living Essential Oils, whatever collection that you start with, whatever oils you start with, um, my challenge is to use it every day. Find a way. To um, so, well, this is from Cora, I guess. I don't know. What, maybe I should find a better source. But I just, I Googled, can you eat cassia oil? And Dr. Axe, whoever that is, says that you can. But then the next result says cassia cinnamon contains significant le levels of Coumarin, which can damage the liver and can be carcinogenic if too much is consumed. And you know these people are consuming too much of it. Please. Um, and then the third uh, result is from doTERRA, so I wouldn't trust anything that person says. Um, WebMD has a cassia cinnamon, but that's not the essential oil. <laughs> There's really not that many, like, Healthline, oh, here, well, no, that's cinnamon oil. A lesson learned, how not to use cassia, the hot essential oil. Oh, there are more than one hot essential oils, please. Um, I'm not really seeing anything that says you sh should. <laughs> there are plenty of, like, oily websites that are like, here's all the benefits of cassia, but, like, I'm not seeing... I, I don't know. There's one person on Quora that says it can be carcinogenic, so... I guess that's not a proper source, but... I mean, they must be getting it from somewhere, which, I, I don't know. You know these people are consuming way too much of it. I yeah. use it every single day. Um, get a wonderful reference book and learn about that oil and find a way to use it every single day. There may be some oils you're like, why would I use that every day? But you know what? 
that's every oil, but okay. There are so many benefits that it would probably shock you of how much it helps you, not only physically, but again, we've already- I wanna see the receipts. What, like, seriously, let, let, let me know. Hey, uh, Sarah, that's her name, Sarah. Um, what are your sources? What are your sources? Where are you getting all this from? The essential oil Bible that Gary Young wrote? Cause that's not a proper source as far as I'm concerned. I want to hear from medical professionals tell me that every single oil has health benefits. Please, please, I'd like to know. Already mentioned emotionally as well, yes. um, mentally to help with focus, um, and also for just our wellness with our immune system and just various body systems. And I would say too that most, that all of these kits are very well researched. So when they put these together- By Donald Gary Young? Yeah, okay, very well researched. Any any responsible, respected medical professional is going to tell you that most essential oils are very lightly studied and uh, we don't know how they can affect health. Um, like most of them. I, there are a few like peppermint oil, eucalyptus oil that like, like eucalyptus for example is like the main ingredient in um, like Vicks Vapor Rub or the main oil or whatever. Um, and it does help like open your airways and stuff. And like peppermint can be used uh, for like stomach upsets and like nausea and stuff for some people, not for everybody. Um, there are some very specific parts of essential oils that have been studied for certain things because there was evidence for it. But there's so much of these claims that have zero evidence for any of it and these people, like, they, they take it and fucking run with it. And it's like, there really is no evidence for any of the shit you're claiming. It is so dangerous. It's with a lot of thought. And it's with, um, so like, for instance, this kit, um, the Golden Touch. You know, it has um, Juvaflex and Melrose and RC, Digize Raven, Thieves, and Endoflex Vitality. And so these, all of these oils um, can affect your health in different ways, right? And some of them, I remember when I got, so this, when I first signed up, I got the starter kit, which is not this beautiful starter kit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't get a diffuser or anything, but um, I remember when the kits came out with diffusers, I immediately bought one of those, because right. <laughs> great value. I was like, yes, another diffuser. Um, but then, but I got. Well, yeah, because the diffuser they sell that comes in those kits are like $40 or something, but like the ones that, I mean, I think you can buy them separately outside of the kits. But the ones that all these people are buying are like $300, severely overpriced. But they're buying them because they're like, ooh, they look pretty and I need to diffuse my oils. 12, one of them in every single room. I need to have 12 of them. Like, they can never have enough diffusers and they'll only buy the Young Living ones because for whatever reason, they think those are superior and they're willing to spend 300 plus dollars on them. It's it's a cult. At this kit too, and I remember going in and reading, because I was like, Juvaflex, what is that? I don't know what that is. And it helped me to understand, oh, this is important for health too. So if I'm, you know, if I'm wanting to affect my health, I need to understand how each of these can work together to help my health as a whole, not just, well, I'm just gonna target this thing, you know, yeah. this. Do you know how fucking dangerous this is? Like, okay, I'm gonna take a moment to tell you guys this. Um, so my dad is kind of one of these, like, he's not an essential oil boy, but he's um, one of those, like, he won't take ibuprofen for a headache. Instead, he, like, he takes, like, so many supplements. And on Thanksgiving this year, I don't remember what, he had going on i think he just felt like there was a sickness coming on or something and so he took like all of the supplements not all of them but like a lot of the supplements he had and he was fucked up over thanksgiving my dad is not the kind of person who ever really gets sick but he was sick on thanksgiving it was sad he like was in his room the whole time and, it, and he was sleeping and we didn't see him and it was awful and he ended up saying like i think it's because like I don't remember what it was he said, but he like looked it up and he's like, oh, because this supplement reacts with this supplement and I took them and it made me really sick. Like, th that's the danger of this shit. The alternative medicine industry. Um, I mean, listen, like supplements can be great and stuff 
for certain things. Like, I know one of the things my dad takes all the time, and he always says, like, everyone should take it, which, whatever. Uh, he takes garlic every day, which um, has health benefits, but it's also a natural blood thinner. So one time he came over to my house to fix a window of mine, uh, and he cut himself a very small little cut on one of his fingers. He bled fucking everywhere because of all the the garlic he was taking <laughs> like my dad is this kind of person um but yeah when when you start taking a shitload of stuff and and this applies for essential oils too they can interact with each other and make you sick and it's it's a very slippery slope to be like to just start with a few kind of like oh i take Mm, garlic for this and berberine for that and lion's mane for this and I mean I'm just like naming supplements that I know of I don't know uh there's just so many um and then just to keep adding more oh well I read that this supplement will benefit this and this will benefit that and I'm just gonna take all of them every single day it's like it is so dangerous sorry my husband's doing dishes downstairs I don't <laughs> but um garlic causes lupus flares for you yeah it's it's just i don't know dude zoe that's a good point imagine taking parenting advice from someone who drowned their baby because they didn't know babies breathe <laughs> no they know babies breathe gary young just thought that they didn't need to breathe when they came out of the womb and thought it was okay that they just you know stay in the water for an hour you know it's fine um but anyway yeah i i just you guys are talking about quebec <laughs> in the chat <laughs> uh but yeah that's all i wanted to say is that these people are just like oh i had to learn about which oil does what and which oil. it's like these things can interact with each other and cause health conditions health concerns health issues <laughs> it's so dangerous and i really wish they'd stop make it stop this little piece over here and i would say the feelings kit's probably very similar um it's, it, it will affect your emotions on a lot of different scales and a lot of different mm. access points, I guess you could say, with things maybe you wouldn't think of. Um, so, so, so don't get a kid and just use one oil out right. of it. Like, yeah, right. read all about all of them right. and then use them all. For example. That is such bad advice, such dangerous advice. Also, fuck these people. <laughs> They're the worst. They don't give a shit what can truly happen if... If you fuck this up, you get on that slippery slope and you fuck this up for yourself. What it can do to somebody is not only irresponsible, not only dangerous, but just, like, irresponsible. But, like, just so bad. Because they don't give a shit. They want you to buy as many oils as possible. You know why? Because they're going to make more money if you do that. So, of course, it's easier for them to say, take everything. Use them all every day. They don't care about what that is doing to your health to your body to your well-being to your pocketbook they don't care because they are benefiting financially from it so fucking insane good night sam thanks for being here well in that golden touch when um kit we've got jiva flex for the liver yes. to support the liver mm -hmm. we've got endoflex and that supports the whole endocrine, endocrine system, system including your thyroid to um, goodness sakes, your, your pituitary gland and, uh, pineal gland, just all the different glands. And so and they, <laughs> all the glands <laughs> and you've got RC and Raven that are so good for just your lungs, opening up your lungs and breathing nice and deep. And then thieves for supporting the immune system. And, um, and then Melrose is another really good one. That's, um, it's really, it's mild. I remember for my baby, for Joshua, he was a baby at the time, um, toddler, um, I used Melrose like I would have used Thieves just because I knew it was really gentle and he had sensitive skin. And so um, I used Melrose. Are you trying to tell me that you shouldn't use Thieves on a baby because it's not sensitive? You used it in replacement of Thieves? Okay. Um, tell us, Sarah, what were you using to clean your house at this point? Because we know that all you people won't touch Lysol. <laughs> Because you think it's poison. Um, you all have all the thieves cleaning products and stuff. They have like thieves laundry detergent and shit, I'm pretty sure. So, um, so you, so, so thieves isn't good for babies? Is that what you're saying? Huh? 
hours and for that and then also the diegize and like mm -hmm. everybody needs mm -hmm. lots of diegize <laughs> whether you support. like it or not, not um, me. and so well we have to remember that our systems are connected yes so that's because right. our systems are connected they affect each other yeah so when we're working on one system then that system will affect another system and then that system will be like Hey, I need some support too. So it's yeah. so it's in so it's interesting how the all the oils in these different kits work together in a beautiful little symphony of that's right. Help. Okay. <laughs>
dangerous. Who have sensitive skin and sensitivity issues, and I don't want them to be uncomfortable with the oils because I want yeah. them to use them. And you know, if you if you use it and it's uncomfortable, you're gonna hesitate to use it again, and we don't want that. So I'd rather. You so what you're saying is you should dilute them. Interesting. You dilute and use the oils. Uh -huh. And you know what? Our Young Living Essential Oils, they are very different. Yes. They no, are not. very different. They're, they're very concentrated. The high quality. Mm -hmm. And so we can use um, a lot of the essential oils just directly on. You start with one drop. I always say go low, low and, and slow. slow. So use one drop. You can start using it um, on your feet and then put mm -hmm. your socks on. Um, but, you know, if you have... I always tell people if they don't know where to put an oil, put it on your feet. That's right. Especially... Sorry, just another little tip. If you don't really like the smell, if it's too strong for you, put on your feet, put on your socks. Boom. You're getting all the benefits there of the oil. Go. And yeah. There you go. So now if you Bullshit. have a specific area you need to put the oils on, like if you have a sore muscle after a workout, um, a lot of people like Panaway, mm -hmm. the blend Panaway. And so like put it right on that muscle. Now, um, and if, but if you're concerned of it being spicy or, you know, or your skin is too sensitive because you've never used any of the Young Living Essential Oils, um, well, you can do something called a patch test. Yeah. Now, personally, I've never done a patch test. I just use them, and it's like, oh, that's a little spicy, so I'm going to use some B6 organic olive oil. So do as I say, not as I do, and you think that's just going to work for them? Well, and then I put it on, and, and it cools off. But Which is a great tip. You yeah. can add the carrier after you add the oil, and it does slow down the absorption, so it works, but... And, and with that, I'm gonna add this little thing on. It's like oregano, for example. Our oregano essential oil, it is very, very spicy mm -hmm. to use topically. And what makes it spicy is those oil molecules are so super tiny and, they're, and they are penetrating through the layers of the skin so fast it's creating friction. I don't think, I mean, y'all will correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that's what's happening. <laughs> and so to slow that friction down, you take a fatty oil mm -hmm. molecule mm -hmm. that grabs that essential oil molecule and slows down the rate of absorption, thus making it much more comfortable. Right, yeah. cooling it down. So if you've got an oil on and you're like, oh man, that was so hot, so spicy, um, or it's too tingly or something, grab some coconut oil or some olive oil, make sure it's organic, or your Young Living B6. This is a carrier oil complex. Um, that they have and just add that on there and you should feel great immediately. Yep. So now with that patch <laughs> test, you can put like a drop of oil. I've got some cinnamon bark. Cinnamon bark's pretty it's spicy. spicy. Mm -hmm. My skin's pretty used to oils. Yeah. But do, do these people have like third degree like chemical burns all over their body at this point from just... <laughs> I, know, I never dilute oils. I just put them straight on my skin. Ooh, this one's spicy. Uh, do as I say, not as I do, though. It's like, how, how do you build up a tolerance on your skin other than, like, my tummy's growling. Ugh. <laughs> Did you guys just hear Griffin? He's like, oh, my God. <laughs> He's getting spicy. Um. I forgot what I was saying. Uh, you can take a drop and you can patch test on a sensitive part of your skin. So like on the inside of your forearm, on the inside um, of your upper arm, um, put a drop and just kind of wait and see what happens if it feels. And then what happens if you start like burning? Like what happens if you start having a severe allergic reaction? You know what they're gonna say? They're not gonna tell you to go to urgent care or the emergency room or seek actual medical help. They're gonna say, just just put some more of our vegetable oil on it and dilute it and you'll be fine dude th this could be serious this could cause serious health conditions or con conditions i don't know what's the word for it health issues this this can literally harm people what they're telling you to do right now a little maybe a little itchy spicy cooling or whatever then okay again <laughs> acid burns nope just friction <laughs> Exactly, dude. <laughs> like, okay. These people, like, must have the skin of an elephant, dude. Like, they must not be soft people at all. You know how, like, sometimes you shake someone's hand and, like, they're super soft-handed, but then, like, you'll shake someone else's hand and it's, like, super rough? They're rough. You know they're, they're but their whole body is rough. <laughs> it has to be if they've built up a tolerance. 
take your fatty oil, put it on there and dilute it. And then maybe for that oil, if you're needing to use it topically, you can actually make a roller. roller bottle. Yes, a roller bottle. I love these roller bottles. Young Living, we just got these free in, in a free with purchase. And I love, I love the free with purchase. You know, I'm always adding stuff to my cart yes. so I can get everything free that can happen because that's just. I'm always adding things. Every, what did she say? Things or everything? I'm always adding everything to my cart so I can get things for free. It's like, okay, so you're, I'm, that translates to I'm always spending more money than I wanted to so I could get free stuff. Free stuff. Like how much, how much do you think she had to spend to get these roller bottles for free? Like $75, $100? It's pro it was probably one of those things like spend $100 and get a free gift and then it's like these fucking bottles. <laughs> Okay, are you, um, I mean, I guess she's happy with herself. She's happy that she was able to uh, get the shit for free. Free. She spent more than she planned on, but sure. Yeah, it's not free, dude. Sandpaper skin, exactly. That's what these people, <laughs> these people <laughs> just feel like sandpaper. It's more cost effective for Beverly's That's right. budget. <laughs> That's right. And every month, Young Living has a gift with purchase. Mm -hmm. And you can put the roller um, tops and pop them on a bottle. Yeah. But if you're needing to dilute something, um, maybe you're making a roller for your children. Yeah. So for kids, yeah, we go low and slow with them, dilute a little bit, use it on them, see how they do. And so whether you've got the Young Living roller bottles that you might have gotten for free, or maybe you purchased some on, on online, a quick tip to take the, the roller top off is you I feel like they've given us this tip every time the past three episodes we watched. Use the cap. Use your cap. Boop. And it will come off. I'm trying not to fling it. She's trying it. not to fling it around. I, I have flung <laughs> it places that it didn't need to be, and She's I have to find it. Famous for flinging. Yes. For, yes. <laughs> but anyway, I got this part off. So then, um, and I'm not going to make one right now, but you would pour the V6 in there, and then you would put your drops of oil in that, and there's your little roller roll it, bottle. Roll it wherever That's you want. Right. It's already diluted. Everybody can use it. Yes. Kids, adults, everything. Yeah. Okay, you can't say that. You cannot say that. Andy's Web, thank you for being a member for 11 months. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, can, can you not? Like, can you, dude, okay. Like, I hate to like call out family bullshit and stuff, but like I was telling you guys before, I had a family member who was in Young Living um, and ugh, sucks because she, she has a daughter that's Sparrow's age, so Sparrow's cousin. And I remember there was one time we were over at their house and it broke my heart, dude, because I mean, I guess it was just frankincense, so frankincense isn't really one of, like, the worst things you could put on your skin undiluted, I guess, but, like, we were over there, and, and her daughter, because she was really into the Young Living thing, might still be, I don't know, but I just remember, like, her daughter had to have been, like, three at the time, maybe, and uh, her and Sparrow were, like, playing upstairs or something, and um, the daughter comes down, and she was like, I need, Mom, I need my oil, or something like that, and, like, straight up came downstairs with a, just a bottle of Young Living Frankincense essential oil and like like she had been conditioned to believe that she needed it and um her her mom my family member is just like putting it straight out of the bottle on her daughter's wrist and just like <sighs> breaks my heart dude I don't like I mean I've spent more time with her since then um and I have not seen this happen since but she was just so young and like kids are just so impressionable and that broke my heart dude I was just like you have made her believe that she needs this to be healthy and it's like she doesn't she super doesn't and it was coming straight out of the bottle so you know and I don't want to be like oh she's a bad mom because she's not she's a great mom but like it just goes to show how easy these things can become part of a daily routine that like your, your kids pick up and, and like they don't know they only know what they've been taught and you've taught them that and it's like it's just sad anyway yes and now you know I, I was thinking about you know people that are brand new to young living essential oils and using the oils and <laughs> Dagmar I love how much your cats love you dude me me and my cats we know what's up <laughs> oh yeah I, I'm a cat cuddle puddle all the time they love their mommy I mean I'm real I, because we have, like, my husband doesn't really care. 
about the cats. It's just kind of like, eh, eh, there's a cat. Like, he'll pet them sometimes or whatever. But to me, like, they're always snuggling up on me. They know they can get the good scritches. Um, and then, like, my kids love the cats, too. But you know how kids are with cats. Like, they're animals, I guess. They, they, they're too aggressive. They don't try to be. But So they'll always run from the kids. They don't really... They don't get their needs met from my husband so they know if they show up here they're gonna get all the pets and all the loves and all the hugs and all the kisses so they all love me and none of them get along with each other so um so they so they fight over me i just feel very needed <laughs> by my cats but they don't want anything to do with each other like it's a competition for my <laughs> attention I know, Beverly, you give a lot of Young Living raindrops. This is our raindrop technique kit. Yep. And in a nutshell, it's nine Young Living essential oil blends and singles placed along the feet and the spine mm -hmm. for all sorts of wonderful reasons. And you give, you're certified in it. I am, and I, I was adding it up, and I give... Oh, okay, this Beverly chick is the one who's certified in raindrop essential oils. But isn't she just the one who was saying her kids were giving it to her? Did your kids get certified too? No? Oh, so why the fuck did you feel like you needed to be certified if your kids can do it? Like, make it make sense. More I than love 100 cats a year. They're the best. That's amazing. Every year. That's amazing. So, so, so sometimes. Makes tired. Think of that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it is wonderful. It is. And Great. so sometimes you have somebody that's never used an yes. essential oil, never using yes. Young Living essential oil. Mm -hmm. And so what's one of your and best tips? I want to tips? be really careful with those people because I never want someone's first raindrop to be a negative experience. Yeah, whether them, they're uncomfortable or something. I don't want them, to have, something's don't want them to have a spicy mark or anything. Spicy mark, you say? Are those common? She talks about it like it's a common occurrence. Gee, I wonder why. Is it? Could it possibly be because sometimes people are allergic to plants? <gasps> what? Sometimes, and actually, by sometimes in this case, I mean all the time. You should be diluting your essential oils if you're going to be putting them on someone's skin. And it's like, how many people? get a raindrop and have a negative experience. Beverly, would you like to explain that to us, please? How, how frequently do, are you running into this problem? They would never tell us that. Because what they're always saying is like, oh, raindrop is for everyone. It's, or uh, for, f fuck it. Every, every essential oil is for everyone if you ask these people. Um, but they'd never want to tell you about the times when it was, when they weren't, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Think so yeah, we do this. You do the patch test to see if they. Yeah. Gonna need oh, and you. By the way, you know it's been a few minutes and there's nothing here, but yeah. you know you'd know pretty quickly. You would. No, Young Living does not pay these people to make this nonsense. This is all shit that they're just doing for fun, I guess. It, but anyway, you can tell pretty quickly. Oh yeah. But if, if somebody it. really, really sensitive skin and the patch test showed that, or or they just let me know that ahead of time, I will layer a. V6, just a layer along the spine, because the raindrop technique is oils on the feet and the spine. And I don't usually layer on the feet because the feet are just super tough. The skin on the feet. There's no don't spice usually, receptors yes. on your feet. But I'll layer. I would guarantee you could still get a fucking chemical burn on your feet if you put the wrong essential oil on there. Guarantee. On the back, so that the so that they have a nice, gentle raindrop experience. And the one oh thing that God. I always do with all of my receivers or my raindrops is I give them sulfurzyme. So this has uh, the MSM. You're mm -hmm. always better explaining what's in here than me. Okay, well, in a nutshell, this is organic MSM. It's sulfur, not to be confused with sulfa. Yeah. What is MSM? I'm gonna have to look this shit up. Two totally different things. Sulfazine? Sulfa is synthetic and most people are allergic. Sulfur is, is something that's found in every, almost every living organism, but especially in plants, it's in people. And so um, this is a dietary supplement and it has some wolfberry powder in it. Um, it's great to support the immune system, to support the body's natural response to inflammation. Sure. Um, and then also it just supports detox pathways. Yes. So the practical the use one. for why I use it is I can give someone two of these capsules before a raindrop and then we have no issues. Yeah, we have no, you know. Yeah, you don't feel. MSM is methyl sulfon, fuck. <laughs> That's not it. Mul methyl sulfonyl sulfonyl methane. Methyl sulfonyl methane. <laughs>
<laughs> um, no wonder they call it MSM. I can't fucking say that word. What What is that about? Sulfurzyme uh, contains a unique blend of Ningxia wolfberry fruit powder, a.k.a. Um, goji berry. Uh, MSM is a dietary sulfur that bolsters, bolsters, that's an interesting word to use in this context, uh, the joints, aids the immune system and helps support normal metabolic function, circulation, and bone, hair, and skin health. Wow, sounds like a cure-all. What do we know about cure-alls? Oh, that's right. Cure-alls cure nothing. Great. Thanks, Sawbones. I learned that from you. It can even help support recovery time of joints after exercise, and they definitely made sure to put a little star after that, so... Or an asterisk, because that uh, statement has not been evaluated by the FDA, so. Cool. So uncomfortable <laughs> if your body's trying to detox, right. you know, so mm -hmm. fast, because the oils are giving the and green light. we also light. tell them lots and lots of water. If you, yeah, if you know lots of water. If you know you're detoxing, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots yeah. of water. It needs to annoy you. Detoxing what exactly? If you guys are living a chemical-free lifestyle, then what the fuck is there to detox? Please, I'd like to know. If you're all out here chugging essential oils that you always say are chemical-free, even though everything's a fucking chemical, what what is there to detox? What toxins are in your life? You guys, your entire houses are constantly pumping full of thieves and other essential oils that you claim takes the toxins out of life. <laughs> like uh, is it frankincense that they say maybe it's thieves that they say like purifies the air so like what the fuck are you detoxing then sounds like bullshit you how many times you have to go to the bathroom that's how much water yes not just here and there but enough that you're like oh my gosh i have to go again that's how much yeah. water you need or i mean drinking that amount of water helps flush shit through your system without the essential oils so it sounds like this detox that you're doing is actually mostly aided by the amount of water you're telling them to drink and not by the actual oils themselves. You can sweat. Sweating out is a great way to get detox and that would be like working out in the yard till you get a good sweat going or if you have access to a sauna, that's an amazing thing. But you need to either sweat it out or pee it out. Sorry <laughs> yeah. for that, but that's just the truth. It's all right. And uh, because if you don't do one of those things, it will, your skin will try to detox and that's when you might break out in a rash or, or cause you're, it's trying to come through the skin and that's not comfortable. Is that, is that medically accurate? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no on that one. Cause like histamines and stuff, like those are involved in creating allergic reactions, which you can get rashes from and stuff. Like it seems to me like, like, you're going to try to say that every time anyone ever gets a rash, it's because their skin is trying to detox because they're having trouble sweating or peeing? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Nobody wants to do that. So we want to sweat it out or we want to pee it out. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and, you know, the oils are really great at giving your body... Oh, my God, I just had a realization. I just had an epiphany. So, like... And this is, like, I don't know. What was the name of that Netflix special unwell was it they had that whole episode about essential oils and it like um i have a video about it it's from a few years ago but it's like they were um going through like essential oils in one episode like specifically young living in doTERRA and there were a few people on there that are like yeah i had like a severe allergic reaction there was one lady who was saying that like she started using, it was, I think she was with doTERRA specifically, but whatever. They basically all get most of their oils from the same places, allegedly. Um, there was one lady who was saying that she was using the oils as she was directed by presumably her upline. I don't remember. I'd have to go through and look again or watch again. I don't have Netflix though, so fuck it. I don't know. Watch my video. <laughs> but, um, and she said that she started developing like red bumps all, like all over the, areas of her body that she was applying it to and they told her to keep using the oils because it was just a detox thing when really what it was was it was an, a severe allergic reaction and it kept getting worse the more she used the oils and the moment she stopped using the oils it stopped it went away these people are basically saying if you use an essential oil and you then get a a, a skin mark which they just got done saying spicy marks are a thing so what you're saying is 
if you use an essential oil and then you get m a rash or you get marks on your skin or something, not to discontinue use, but that it's me it's making the oils detox you, but you're just detoxing through the skin instead. So keep doing it because there's toxins coming through your skin and you but like that's not that's not it. What this is, what they're doing right now, is it it is an excuse to get people to continue to use the oils even if they're having an allergic reaction or developing a rash. In all in the name of detox, that's what this is I'm fucking pissed, dude. I'm so pissed. They're harming. They, well, they're potentially harming so many people with this. I haven't been this pissed off at a, a That Oil Show episode. Um, I was going to say probably ever, but I think they had one about kids. That was probably worse. But, like, this is infuriating. Unwell, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your favorite sociopath, thank you for the super chat. When I... Oh. When I was showing a ring to a customer, she grabbed my hand, and I don't know what the fuck was on her hand, but I broke out in hives all over my arm. <gasps> Yikes, dude. That sucks. That happens to me around rats and guinea pigs. <laughs> One time when I worked at PetSmart, uh, while I was still a cashier, so it was like in my, my early days there before I was grooming dogs... I was like doing my closing duties and the the person who like deals with the small animals and like the fish and stuff the pet care people um one of them was like cleaning out a rat cage or something and i was walking by and they're like here real quick can you hold this rat and i'm like yes of course Hi, you. my eyes swelled up and i got like my arms turned bright red and swel swelled up and i got like white bumps all over it was fucking wild dude <laughs> I mean, like, I I knew that I had, like, allergic reactions to rats because my sister used to have a rat. But, like, I just thought, I'm like, oh, I'm just holding him for a few minutes. It'll be fine. But it was not fine. And uh, guinea pigs do the same thing to me. It fucking sucks. Anyway, also, thank you for the other super chat. Also, pro tip, don't touch your jeweler. Yeah, exactly. Don't touch anyone without permission. What are you doing, <laughs> ma'am? <laughs> Maybe she was holding a rat and you're allergic to rats. Because that would happen to me, like, uh, being in the vicinity of one, I swell up like a balloon. Oop. Boop. That green light to yes. flush the stuff out that doesn't belong. Oh, my gosh. And so, just like if you went to get a massage or go to the chiropractor, they'd say drink lots and lots yes. of water. You're about to do something really healthy for your body, so let's support the body to get the junk out as quick and as effective. Ferrets are wonderful. I don't think I have any... Uh, I don't think I have allergic reactions. We didn't have, well, it was probably Petco because PetSmart doesn't carry ferrets. Um, maybe, I mean, maybe like certain ones do, but I don't think we had like a ferret supplier, but like my uh, brother-in-law has ferrets and I've touched them and I've been fine. Like rabbits I'm okay with, but like for some reason rats and guinea pigs can't do it. Active as yes. we can. And you always feel so much better on the yes. other side you of it. You think That's about right. him every yes. day. So the very last thing that I want to talk about is photosensitivity. Very important to talk about. Yes. So the citrus oils um, are, you'll see some warnings. Oh, this is photosensitive. Make sure not to put this oil on and go right into the sun. So Here's how I like to explain it. Citrus oils, like you will, you are literally more sensitive to sunlight if you put citrus oils on your skin. So please tell people you need to be diluting them. Please, can we be responsible here and tell them it can cause issues if they put the <laughs> if they put citrus oils on their skin and they go into the sun, like that. We're talking like, <coughs> excuse me, if they're doing this all the time, like. That much sun damage can cause skin cancer and shit. Like, be responsible, please. Orange and lemon and lime and even bergamot. The bergamot People don't out realize bergamot is a citrus. Actually, it is a citrus, and it's actually the most photosensitive of all the oils we have. So it's good to know. Yeah. So what does that mean? So let me tell you what yeah. that means. It's as if there's all these little microscopic magnifying glasses. <laughs> In yeah. the oil, so when the sun hits the oil on your skin, it's like magnifying the sun on your skin. And so you could end up, and I don't think we can see it here on the camera, but I actually, for the first time in 17 years, mm -hmm. um, I had put some uh, an oil blend that I made with some citrus oils 
um, using it as a perfume and I put it on my wrist. I don't even think you can see some discoloration. Maybe you can. And I got like this weird I tan. Can I can see the little but tan here. Might not be able to but, and it didn't bother me, but some people are really sensitive mm -hmm. to that and it, it could kind of, you know, kind of hurt. And so here's what sunburns tend to hurt. Yeah. What you do with any of your citrus oils, put it where the sun don't shine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only where the sun don't shine. Or just your butt. <laughs> I mean, I guess she's saying like a put it under your clothes or something, but like <laughs> usually that phrase means this, I'll kick you where the sun don't shine. They're talking about your butt. <laughs> Please don't put essential oils anywhere near your butthole. Please don't do it. Okay, thank you. Just put it on. If there's a part of your skin that you need it um, and, and it would be something that would be exposed to the sun, um, put it on before you go to bed. Yeah. Um, but again, just put it up where the sun don't shine. Don't put it on and go right outside. No, outside, no. Outside. And so it sucks because like citrus oils out of all the essential oils I've ever smelled, like citrus oils are my favorite. And it's like, if I was going to wear any of them as perfume, I would want it to be like citrusy and bright and stuff. But it's like, well, I mean, I never go outside, so <laughs> rarely. Um, but yeah, it's like, those are the dangerous ones. The rest of them just like, most of them smell like shit. So if you can't, if you can't have citrusy smelling perfume that it's like i don't want to wear them at all oh so it, it might not be comfortable some people like this is the first time this has ever happened and i'm sure i've probably done something like that before i actually have never had it happen to me either yeah so some like, people it, it just they'll yeah. they'll put on orange oil straight up and go outside and they're fine but don't don't depends do that. on your skin i guess it just depends <laughs> on the yeah. person yeah. but anyway these are yeah, all do good that. what i like to say uh common sense usage yes. Yes. and these nothing Nothing about essential oils makes any sense to any person who has any common sense at all. If you're gonna, if you're going to praise common sense, if you're going to say y'all need to have some common sense if you're gonna use essential oils, then you wouldn't be using essential oils. You would be listening to medical professionals and scientists and biologists and whatever the fuck who have studied these oils and say, hey, Maybe don't do these things that these people are trying to tell you to do. You know, that's common sense. Listening to professionals, listening to people who know their shit, that's common sense. Listening to these randos on the internet who don't know anything <laughs> that they're trying to talk about, um, that, that, that is the opposite of common sense. That's dangerous sense is <laughs> what that is. These pro tips that, that everybody learns along the way and now, They've now you learned know. them. <laughs> yeah, now you know. Great. Oh no. <gasps> okay, this is a. N oh wait, no. Is this the guy, the the Zen guy? Oh no. No. Oh, fuck. Hello, my. Fr no, sir, Aaron. Get out of here. Look at, he's got two of these fucking diffusers. Oh my god, there's so many. Ooh, 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 we could play a game. How many diffusers are in the frame? We got one. I don't know, are these are these lantern-looking things diffusers? I don't think so. But this is a $350 diffuser. This is a $350 diffuser. Um, this is the owl, the Snowy the Owl, which I don't remember how much it is, but that's a diffuser. And then this thing right here is a diffuser. Do we see any more? That might be it. But sometimes you never know. There's at least four essential oil diffusers on this set right now. Also, I hate this guy. <laughs> Fellow crunchy friends. No! <laughs> Some people tend to think we're a little nutty when uh -huh. it comes to our health. And to them, I would like to say... Just admit it. Yes. Yes, okay. we are. At least he admits Stay it. Stay with me for a minute as I'd... I guide you through cracking into your source of stress. I'd rather not. And letting go as you place a drop of YL's frankincense essential oil on your big right toe your big right thumb your big right th do you have more than one right thumb and one is bigger than the other sir maybe you should go to a doctor also i mean he he thinks he's being funny, right? No, this is just making me uncomfortable. Like, I'd rather not watch you put essential oil on your feet for the sake of comedy. This isn't funny. I hate him. I hate it. Piss off. <laughs> exactly. It, it is 
toilet cat. It is satire, but with a sprink, well, more than a sprinkle of sincerity. Like the, I mean, it's like, it's all like good advice that they, they think it's good advice. Um, but he's doing it in a way that he thinks is comedic, which is totally not like nothing about this is funny. It's just like cringe city. Like my butthole is about to fall off of my body because I'm cringing so hard. I hate him. I hate him. And your big right ear. Big. Remember. He got two ears and one of them's bigger. <laughs> the nuttier the person, the stronger the results. Now that's my kind of crunchy. So are you saying that the more essential oils you put on your body, the stronger the results are gonna be? It's, it's not how, mm -mm. If by results you mean medical, can, like medical issues, then maybe. <laughs> ah, all better. What? I hate it. And then from the short. next steps from there in uh, putting your loyalty rewards orders together, make sure you're getting your Ningxia Red. Yes. You know, your Ningxia Red juice. This is our oil infused juice drink. Okay. I'm speaking from uh, my memory, which isn't that great. Um, Ningxia Red is literally like a mixture of juices, like goji berry juice, but also like pear juice or some shit. Like just like juices that really shouldn't cost that much money, but one of those bottles is like $50. I think, yeah, yeah. I think a two pack is $100 and you can only buy them in a two pack? used to be that way anyway i don't know um and then like the essential oils that are in here are like there's only a, a few it's basically just like super expensive fruit juice with like a few sprinkles of essential oil in it fucking wild but oh no it's essential oil infused like even if essential oils did anything for your health there's not enough of them in a bottle of Ningxia Red to do anything for you. Like, this is just really expensive, overpriced fruit juice is what Ningxia Red is. Anyway, but yeah, make sure you spend all the money on them. I also have a video about Ningxia Red. If you haven't watched it, um, I tried it. It's not that great. Because it's a fruit juice, you would expect it to taste decent, but it does not. I mean, it's not, like, disgusting, like, oh, I can't get through this, look. But it's, like, it... It doesn't taste as good as you would expect it to. It's like not great. <laughs> that supports your immune system. It's great for every single cell. It's a Ningxia um, is a territory. I don't know what the word is you would use, but it's a place in China, pretty sure. So goji berries, AKA wolf berries, AKA Ningxia berries, I guess are berries that grow in that region. So that's why they call it Ningxia berries. And, and I think I think they adopted that term because it sounds exotic, it sounds rare, but really they're just goji berries. Like nothing, nothing special. But yeah, they come from that region in China of Ningxia. It's a place, something like that. I don't remember. An antioxidant. It's a water soluble okay. antioxidant. Every cell of every organ of every body system needs your Ningxia red. No, and so it does if you're not. like, I don't know what I'm going to get on loyalty rewards, it's I want to start with these juice. oils and kind of go slower and get used to them. That's okay. That's great. Get your Ningxia red. You know, one to two ounces a day. These are the packets. We also have bottles. Our next episode is going to highlight Ningxia red. So make sure you watch. Yeah. Oh, goody. Goody. Hey, guys, if you want um, to get up on your Ningxia red knowledge, again, I have a whole video about it. Just search my name in Ningxia, probably, and I'm sure it'll come up um, where I try it at the end. But yeah, I go through like the history of it and shit. I don't remember. I don't remember all what's all in that video. It's a decently length video, so I'm sure I like went and like researched it and shit. I, it's just been a long time, but um, yeah, definitely go watch it in preparation for our next. Oily live stream. Tune in. Um, but that is has been a staple in every single yes. loyalty rewards order for me and my family mm -hmm. for 17 years now. And when we run out or we don't have it for whatever reason, we feel a difference. Yes. That's called placebo. Um, yeah, no, when I when I tell you guys it's fruit juice, I mean it's fucking fruit juice. It is nothing special. 
what they are saying right now is complete bullshit. And maybe they do feel that way, but they've conditioned themselves mentally for their body to be like, oh shit, like, uh, I should not be feeling good right now because, like, my brain is telling me that I shouldn't be feeling good right now because I don't have my Ningxia. Like, it's, it's not, it's not real. It's not fucking real. Yeah. With it, we have more energy. Mm -hmm. We have um, just more focus. There's more stamina. And you're going to learn all about that <laughs> coming up really soon. But our oil-infused life with young living, we have so Okay, your favorite sociopath, uh, thank you for the super chat. I never thought anything would top my gross list like my grandfather's tuna in a peach appetizer. What? Gross? A peach appetizer. But I'll be damned, the stuff on this show topped it. I don't know, that sounds pretty gross. <laughs> tuna and peach, those are two things that I don't think should go together, but... You're right. You're right. Definitely that smoothie that they showed us earlier. If you popped in later than their, um, from scratch, they have like a recipe ep or, um, segment on this show. It was nasty today. If you haven't watched it, you're going to have to watch it on the replay because damn, it's bad. <laughs> so many products mm -hmm. for every uh -huh. aspect of our lives. And, and they expect you to buy every single one of them. Infused with these powerful essential oils. And I know you're absolutely gonna love your journey, your Young Living journey. So what- That depends on how brainwashed you let yourself get by your upline, so. What other things do y'all like to put? One last little go around. What things do you like to have in your loyalty rewards orders? What's a staple for Well, the number one, you? yeah, I was about to say, the number one thing that gets added to now my, my downline, my people that I bring in, my family, my new family, Stop. She did not. She did not just say Jiminy Christmas. My downline, aka my family. Yeah, okay. Okay. Is Progestins Plus because mm -hmm. it supports the endocrine system for women and it's just oh a powerhouse and it's, I mean, it's an immediate, it's one of those immediate, you feel it immediately. And so this is actually now with all- Again, you've conditioned your body to believe, well, your brain to believe that your body is feeling shit immediately. It's an essential oil. No, your body does not feel different afterwards, unless you're allergic to it. Then you need an EpiPen. All the people that I'm teaching and bringing in, this is the first thing they add to their loyalty rewards orders is, is the Progestins Plus. I know, so. but Wendy is like, <laughs> yes, yes, yes ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma yes, yes. Every, every new person that you're, signing, well, you're helping with now. It's just because every woman. every woman has hormone. Every woman has hormones? What? Only women, though. Uh, Hula Chowdown said, pretty sure as a teen, someone sold my mom Ningxia to cure my acne. It was foul. It also did not cure my acne. Sounds about right. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say that Ningxia Red is, is foul. It's just like, it really, and everyone in the chat who's tried goji berries, they're all saying the same thing. Like, goji berries don't taste good. They really don't. Like, you think of a berry, you think of like a cranberry, a blueberry, a strawberry, like something sweet and like bright and uplifting. It, this, it's just, it isn't that. And then... I believe one of the essential oils they add to Ningxia Red is vanilla, I want to say, a vanilla essential oil or something like that. So, like, imagine, you know how, like, I don't know, like, orange orange cream is kind of like a popular, or strawberries and cream or whatever is like a popular flavor. It's almost like they were trying to go for that. So it had more of, like, a warm taste instead of, like, a bright citrusy, like, fruity taste. It just, to me... For me, it did not work. It, it, it's not, it's not good. Support issues, um, just because the environment we live in, there are so many endotoxins. There's yeah. So what she's saying, okay, I know I paused her like in the middle of that sentence. She's like, women have hormone support issues. Okay, yeah, we, we know that hormonal issues can be a thing. Like, hello, you can say hello to the acne on my forehead because of my IUD. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my body like I gained like 10 pounds after I got my IUD dude like ah uh, my hormones are fucked not naturally of course it's because I have a, a device inside of my uterus but uh, like don't don't try to tell me about hormone issues I know um me I mean men have hormones too and can have hormone imbalances too so what where are you what are you getting at 
ma'am. So many um, endocrine Wendy. disruptors, things that like drink out of a plastic cup, you know, and I think. Oh, okay. So what you're saying. Is <laughs> so if you drink out of a plastic cup, you're going to be getting hormone issues. Your hormones are going to go out of balance if you put your lips on a plastic cup. Really? Really? Okay. I mean, easy fix for that. You don't need, you don't need fucking Progestins Plus for that if that were true. Buy some glassware. You can get it from the fucking dollar store, dude. You can get glass, glasses, like, glasses to drink from, from the dollar store. Easy. Easy fix. And you don't need an essential oil for that. I think we eat like a teaspoon of plastic a month or oh, something no. terrible. Yeah. Like the, that's what they say. So, but those things go in and get in our estrogen um, receptor sites and they clog them up and then they're ma'am i don't think that's how that works and i think you're speaking out of your ass right now real estrogen tries to get in and can't and, you real know anyway, estrogen it's... as opposed to fake estrogen <laughs> i hate these people <laughs> i think it's all wonky so uh this supports your system, helps balance things out, and I've just seen it just um, a so lot of people. I know a lot of people. Yeah, just, that's all you're talking. There's like, so uh, many, yeah. so many women. <laughs> I want some more. Sprinkle <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, she's sprinkling like d undiluted. I don't know if you were just watching Beverly here, but she was just like sprinkling on like multiple drops of this shit straight out of the bottle and they're just like ha 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 this is a fucking cult this is not normal behavior nor is it doing it like it's not effective for anything guarantee um oh my god i mean take this for a last supper image look at how happy they all are <laughs> but like when she's when, when you do that with an essential oil bottle, you dabble it like that, like multiple drops come out. Like she's not just like one drop and that's it. This is dangerous. There's no reason you should have hormo big hormonal moodiness. There's no reason you should be feeling, you know, cramps and things like that because those are natural processes in a woman's body, but it's a- Oh, but, but your essential oil will fix it? Really? Really? Women, hey ladies, when you have your period, uh, those cramps aren't normal. You shouldn't be having those. It's a muscle contraction. Like, shut the fuck up. And I understand that some people's cramps and stuff are worse than others, but like, it's a natural thing. Like, but no, 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 no. It's a, ho it's your hormones are being disrupted. No, it's a natural cycle of the hormones in our bodies that cause that shit to happen. It's natural. And sure, relief from that shit is good because it hurts. But like your essential oil is not going to magically make your hormones not make your uterus cramp during your natural cycle. Like what are you talking about? Oh my god, yeah, how do you fix a naturally occurring thing? You fuck it up, I guess? I don't know. You <laughs> bathe in essential oils to the point where it fucks up your body? Perhaps? You know, uh, progesterone imbalance. And so this just balances you out and you feel amazing. Okay, this pisses me off too because like, for example, there's a lot of women who have infertility issues because um, they don't have enough progesterone in their body and then like, um, when I was pregnant with my son, because I had had two miscarriages before him, I asked my doctor, like, as soon as I found out I was pregnant, I was like, hey, I've heard, like, progesterone can help not have miscarriages and stuff. Like, can, can you get me some of that? And she said, well, I can, but progesterone's not covered by insurance, and it's $500 a month. So, da -da -da -da, here's Progestins Plus. Hey, you don't need progesterone prescribed by your doctor to keep your pregnancy just take our essential oil so you're you're preying on mothers mothers to be people who have fertility issues literally sitting here saying like oh yeah it'll help your progesterone levels and it's like no it won't no it fucking won't you absolute goddamn monster of a human are, can i even call you a human at this point you're just a fucking monster 
Oh my god. Dude, this episode, I know we're usually here having laughs and, and having fun here, but so much of the shit they've been saying in this episode specifically is really grinding my gears here, man. <laughs> yeah, Zoe, good point. Did blood test show it balanced out, or is this some kind of Jesse Lee RIP, the cancer is gone, wishing and dreaming happening? Yeah, it, this is exactly what it is. Um, I don't, did I, yeah, yeah, I think I did include it in the video I did about her doctors and, like, her wild uh, health shit, uh, the stuff that she was doing for her cancer. Um, yeah, she had um, Young Living and doTERRA essential oil people sending her bottles of frankincense because she believed that that would cure her cancer like these people literally believe this shit frankincense cures cancer oregano cures cancer like they literally believe that and they sent that shit to jesse lee like oh don't worry you'll be fine look what the fuck happened it's it's all ineffective and it's all bullshit and it's just predatory and so disgusting source i pulled it out of my butt exactly dither thank you <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a horror movie. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the entire alternative medicine industry, in my opinion, is just something straight. Excuse me. I <laughs> like had to burp. Something straight out of a horror movie, as far as I'm concerned. It drives me fucking crazy. Amazing, and you'll never want to be without it again. <laughs> so every, I just start hey. people off. I'm like, listen, I, right here. Yeah. I don't, I don't know about this, but is that progestin's uh, aphrodisiac? Because <laughs> my husband loves it on me. And the answer would I'm be I'm just yes. saying. And the answer is yes. And the answer is yes. Is it really? My husband does love okay. uh, progestin's well, plus on me, too. So if y'all want to spice it up. Progestin's <laughs> plus. Something tells me that that's a whole load of bullshit. Yeah. There you <laughs> go. Well, on that note. That's a, that would be an oil and fuse life. Right there. Ooh, it's life. There, there, there you go. Anyways. Oh, my goodness. Did well, we, did we say our At this point, why doesn't Young Living make an oil-based lube? <laughs> right, though? Right? Am I Oh, shit. I'm giving them ideas. Young Living. What is today? March 29th, 2024. If after this point, Young Living comes out with an aphrodisiac line, uh, a oil-based lubricant with pre Progestins Plus in it, they got that shit from me and they owe me fucking money. Period. Our oils are versatile. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason we love them. <laughs> Wait, are they suggesting they're using it as lube? already just undiluted they're like yeah it's versatile you can use it for different things please do not put progestins plus in your vajiggly jag okay don't do it that's the reason we love them and i'm so excited for this season because we've got so much more to come so stay tuned every single month and we're going to continue to talk about all of these amazing young living essential oil infused products that that young living has to offer us for a, a wonderful vibrant healthy life thanks for joining Thanks for watching That Oil Show. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you can catch new episodes every first Tuesday of the month. And if you enjoyed learning about these amazing products and want some of your own, reach out to the person who shared That Oil Show with you. I want to die. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm just done. <sighs> Guys. Pippi's like, you okay, mom? Yeah. Yeah, Pippi, I'm okay. Come here. Come get my snuggles. Come here, my old lady. Um, she's purring. She's purring so loud. Oh my god, I love her so much. Damn, guys. Listen, like, I don't... <sighs> I don't know what to say. I don't know how to end this. I just, like, I'm... I'm just infuriated. I feel like I need a drink, but I don't feel like drinking, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> but like, I feel like I do after that. Like, I'm just, wow. Fucking wow. Okay, but what?
what's the bet that they vaginal steam with diffusers? Probably. Um, there was an old uh, MLM fails video I did, one of the first ones, I think, where some lady was doing a, um, like, a TikTok where she was putting, like, oils in an ice tray and then freezing them and being like, yeah, you put these in your vajiggly jag. Yeah. Yeah, they do it. They do it. I don't know about these ladies. I don't know if these ladies do it. But some of these people do be doing it. So. It's not too far off from what they're already doing. So. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, it was really icky. Really icky. I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely, like. At least, like, the last episode where they're, like, be oils for beginners. Like. It was annoying, but of course, like all of these episodes are, but like it wasn't like infuriating. Like something about this episode felt so predatory. I think it was just because like they were just like naming off, I don't want to say health issues, but they were just like, I mean, some of them, yeah, like hormone imbalances and stuff, but like there was just so much. <sighs> they were just preying on people and of every different walk of life which is so infuriating um let me see if there's anyone streaming right now that we can redirect to i don't even i haven't done that in so long i don't even remember how to do it um but i don't know of any that i knew of let's see oh customization that's right anyway guys um listen thanks for being here though like i mean i really appreciate you guys just sitting through all this shit with me <laughs> um looks like Wait, Aaron B's is live. We will absolutely redirect to Aaron B's. Oh, she like kind of just went live like 20 minutes ago. All right, guys. Well, definitely stay tuned for that. Aaron is amazing. She's one of my good friends. And um, you're, you're probably going to want to hear everything she has to say. So with that, thank you for being here and being you. Stay tuned for Aaron B's. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.